At muli po, welcome pa rin sa inyong lahat sa ating continuing coverage of the UCBL as we take a look at this ball game of Diliman College Blue Dragons. We'll take on the TIP Engineers para sa ating final day ng eliminations. TIP Engineers already number two sa ating team standings have gained the twice to beat advantage pagpasok ng ating final four battle. Ang Diliman College Blue Dragons, they defeated itong TIP the first time around. They want to do a repeat pero gagantihan ba sila ng TIP Engineers? So many, many things na maraming angles ka na dapat mapag-usapan para sa ballgame na ito. Benji Santiago, kasama ko rito si Coach Bujing Apat and Coach Bujing, ano? Eh, ikaw ba, pagka ganito, si mga sistema, ano yung usually na-obserbahan po? Well, gusto kasi dito ng Diliman, ano, Blue Dragons, eh, masustain yung kanilang winning attitude. Kasi syempre, ay, at the end of the elimination round, gusto nila more wins. Pero syempre, TIP Engineers, revenge ang gusto nila mangyari. Gusto nila bawian ang Diliman Blue Dragons kasi naisahan sila on the first round. Kaya nga, sabi natin, very, very interesting ang kanilang muling pagkikita dito sa ball game na ito. Tingnan muna natin ang ating team standings dito para talagang maintindihan ninyo kung paano na ang magiging senaryo natin. Mga susunod na game days natin, ayan po ang TIP Engineers. They won over Olivares twice. Kahit na anong gawin ng Olivares na kanina nanalo sa CEU, still twice to beat pa rin at number two pa rin ang TIP. Tama nga Benji. Ang nangyari kasi doon, no? yung pinaka pagkatalo ng Olivares against their last game sa TIP Engineers, eh yun yung nagpasok sa TIP para sa Final Four sa number 2 spot. Pagdating naman dito sa Blue Dragons, eh gusto nila makatay ang Bulacan Gold Gear. Siyempre, mas maganda naman yung pang lima kesa pang anim. Tama, tama. Ano? At uh, yun nga, kwestuhan pa rin kahit pa paano. And just to be remembered how they fared sa inaugural season nga ng UCBL. Pag-usapan muna natin, etong uh, Diliman College Blue Dragons. Romil Hornacion did not play the last time around. Right now, he is back. And of course, a man on a mission. At ito, tingnan nga natin ang Diliman College Blue Dragons. They could never forget that win over TIP 76-73. In their last game, talagang very convincing win laban naman sa Bulacan State University. 90-68. Sino-sino ang mga dapat asahan dito ni Coach Renzi Bahar? Coach? Of course, Romil Hornacion. Yan ang pinaka-veterano ng team ng Blue Dragons. And the ace point guard, Chris Torado. Uh, of course, si ano din, si Jericho Mondala. Napakaganda nung nilalaro ni Jericho Mondala. No? With 12 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals. Joseph Brutas, the one-two punch of uh, Blue Dragons with Romil Hornacion. Even in the previous game nga ng Diliman, eh, si uh, Peter Cecilio turned out to be the best player in that ball game. Marami pang kwento na may hatid sa atin ang ating kasama si Nikki Viola. Yes, Nikki? Yes, sabi nga ni Coach Randy sa akin kanina, isang hindi makakalimutan na experience para sa kanyang team ang UCBL. Dahil uh, unang-una sa lahat ay nabigyan ng kanyang mga alaga ng uh, tamang exposure sa ganitong liga at sumunod naman ay ang experience na makalaban ang uh, iba't ibang mga magagaling na teams sa iba't ibang universidad. At uh, syempre, natanong ko rin siya kanina kung sino sa tingin niya ang papasok na magkalaban uh, sa finals dito sa UCBL. At syempre, walang dudura daw doon ng CEU. Pero kung sa makakatapat ng CEU ay uh, pwedeng TIP daw, pwedeng Olivares, lalong-lalo na at kanina laro ay uh, natalo ng Olivares ang CEU. Back to you guys. All right, very very interesting. At parang dito naman sa panig ng uh, TIP engineers, napansin ko parang wala yata si Coach Potit Tivera. Well, malalaman natin mamaya yung pag-usapan muna natin itong TIP engineers. Now, may revenge na nasa uta. Mel looking forward dahil Olivares, that's going to be confidence booster para sa Olivares after winning over CEU. So mag-iiba ang look ng TIP in the final four ang tingin nila sa Olivares. Ito ang mga naging resulta. October 29 nga natalo sila sa Diliman 76-73. They won over Olivares 69-65. That was also a close ball game. And convincing na ang second time na pagkikita ng TIP at saka Olivares. 79-74 yan and that paved the way for TIP to grab the number two spot sa UCBL. And yeah, the first encounter of Diliman Blue Dragons and TIP Engineers, MJ Enriquez knocking down 16 points, 2 assists, and 2 steals. Jorge Napoles, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 3, st 3 assists. Paul Rosopa helping out with 11 and 4. Ito masasabi natin na si Jorge Napoles is completely back in rhythm 
Yan ang kinakailangan kasi ng TIP engineers, yung kanila mga uh, legit scorers, Enriquez, Harley, Jago, and Napoles to be consistent. There were uh, those uh, games, actually one important game, the, the miss out niya ang servisyo ni Jorey Napoles. Ngayon ba, kompleto ba ang TIP engineers? Dapat kompleto sila at lalo na sa pagpasok nila sa Final Four for that battle, ano, laban sa Olivares. Well, Chantal, ano pa may dadagdag mo dito para sa TIP? The TIP engineers are looking to finish the second round with a strong note according to their assistant coach, JB Sales. They are already looking forward to the, for the playoffs. Walang pagbabago sa game plan nila, but they will make sure na mas magiging ready sila for the game with the Olivares. Alright, so yan yung mga foresight ng mga coaches, lalong-lalo na sabi nga natin, mas nag-ready sila siyempre pagka Final Four na yung kanila makakalaban doon. Pero sabi nga natin, as always, mas masarap mag-ready na ang practice mo ay actual na laban kaysa sa kayo-kayo lang. Well, hindi pwedeng kayo-kayo lang. Kami-kami, sasamahan namin kayo. Sama-sama tayo rito sa pag-witness ng ating second game, Diliman versus TIP. Ito po UCBL sa IBC 13. As fall forward, number 13, Peter Cecilio. At center, number 18, Miko Tai. At power forward, number 21, Jonel Bowson. At shooting guard, number 23, Joseph Brutus. And at point guard, number 25, Chris Torado. The head coach for the Blue Dragons is Renzi Bahar. And now let's welcome the TIP Engineers. At point guard number 10, Paul Rosoppa. At small forward number 4, Aiki Akpuru. At center, number 16, Roldan Pinas. At shooting guard, number 24, T.L. Matignas. And at power forward, number 15, Jare Napoles. Calling the shots today for the engineers is J.P. Salas. Officials for the ball game are the fourth Oh, oh, talaga nga naman. Revenge for TIP. Diliman kasi nakauna na. Diliman, sabi nga natin, pagka nilalaro mo na yung last game mo in all the other leagues, di ba? Mas mabuti na yung last game mo. Ang huli mo maalala, nanalo kayo eh. Di ba? As we take a look at our referees, Ricor Bauron, Don Arguelles, and Eman Fara... PO3, syempre, Eman Faraon. Ang nariyan. At of course, fourth man is Seb Pingol. Our referee supervisor is si Ariel Bermeo. Ganun yun eh, di ba, coach? Pati sa mga bata mo, sa mga, yung mga liga ninyo dyan sa PYD, di ba? Tama nga, Benji. Siyempre, gusto mo lagi yung winner's attitude. Ayaw mo matapos yung liga coming from a loss. Gusto mo matapos mo yung liga with a high note. Yan ang gusto ng Blue Dragons. Rondon Pinas did very well in their previous game. Shooting a couple of outside shots, hitting clutch jumpers. Miko Tai missing the jumper naman para rin sa panig ng Diliman. Again, kanina nga nakita natin si Romil Hornacion. Although usually hindi naman talaga nag start si Romil Hornacion para rin sa Diliman College. Eh. Paul Rosopa! Nope! Ito ba yung mga pagkakataon? Like yung mga outside shots na kailangan sanayin mo na rin yung sarili mo, yung expectation mo, looking ahead. Teka muna, uh, kung mahirapan kami makapenetrate, lalo-lalo na yung klase ng uh, for TIP, eh, basically. Eh, yung klase ng depensa na ina-apply ng... Uh, ang kukulit kasi ng depensa, basically, yung Olivares, eh, di ba? Et, ito yung magandang test sa kanila. Sabi mo nga kanina, mas maganda yung practice, yung game plan magawa 
during game situation. So ito nga yun, dahil ang diliman, Blue Dragons, eh, mag makulit din dumipensa. So magandang learning to for TIP engineers kasi ang magiging kalaban nila sa Final Four, ang Sea Lions Olivares, eh talagang napaka-pesky defenders ang mga yun. Terence Matigdas with a three-pointer and we're tied very early in this ball game. Again, kanina po, ang Olivares College beating CEU 65-63 down the wire finish in that ball game na talagang ayaw maghiwala yan ang gusto. That's si J-Boy Solis, very, very active on defense. Doon siya nagsimula. And then, gumana na rin ang kanyang offense. He ended up the ball game with 11 points, 3 rebounds. Pero yung shot blocks na 7. Napakalaki nun. It's a history for UCBL. And it will be hard to beat yung 7 blocks na ginawa doon ni J-Boy Solis. In preparation sa kanilang pagtatagpo nga in the Final Four battle, Laban rito sa TIP Engineers. Missing the three was Jonel Bauson. Aldan Pinas with a runner offline. Tapi ka ng bola sa rebound. Sino makakapulot? Si Miko Tai. Chris Torado. The way I understood it, I was even asking si uh, tournament director Coach Horacio Lim. Ha, mga, and meron tayong individual awards, of course, for the uh, most valuable player. Uh, actually, meron pa yata tayong award for yung mga imports natin dito, best foreign player. Meron tayong finals MVP, and then meron tayong mythical five. Yeah, ang daming awards na ibibigay ang ating uh, tournament director na si I'm UCBL, Coach Horacio. basically. Oh, Coach Horacio Lim. Ay, tama, Coach Horacio. Yes, yes, ang, Coach Horacio. Kasi, kaya sab nasabi ko, kasi yung trabaho ni, ni Coach Horacio Lim at saka ni Boss Bernard, Ito, nakikita natin na sa kaliwa. Ayan nga, si Coach Horacio, Boss Bernard, and uh, Tournament Director and Technical Head, respectively. Hindi, kaya ako nabanggit yun, Benji. Kasi sila yung, ano eh, magkakalculate sila yung mag, uh, mag de decide ko sino yung mga awards na yun. So, mahirap for their part. Kasi maraming nag-stand out na players dito sa UCBL. Sometimes, you just don't base it all in stats. Alam mo, ganito yan. Actually, hindi lang, ha? Hindi lang basically sila. They will take a look at the stats. They will even be talking to us. Tayo rin daw sa panel dito. Dahil, syempre, nag-cover tayo. Yung atin din, uh, ano rito, kumbaga, contribution. Inputs. Inputs natin dito, kailangan din. Diba? So, that means magpapakain ng UCBL sa atin. Malaking factor yun. <laughs> Magmimiting tayo eh. <laughs> nice. 9-3. <laughs> PIP, lamang ng anim dito. Kami, alamin natin kung bakit nga wala si Coach Potit de Vera rito. Ha? Shot clock down to five. At ito, Israel Co is blocked. One second sa kanilang shot clock. Israel Co forcing the issue Penetrating against Jor Jore Napoles. Jore Napoles blocking the shot. One second. Quick play. Tira ka agad. Miko tayo. Mukha nasa kami pa ngayon bola. Pero nevertheless, it falls short. So that's going to be a shot clock violation. Let's go with that. Joey, happy toothpaste. Dr. Edward sterilized drinking water by Euromed. So another good defense by TIP engineers forcing Diliman Blue Dragons for a 24-second shot clock violation. Napoles jumper off Aiki Akpuru. Gaano ka importante si Aiki Akpuru sa Final Four natin, Coach Bojing? Well, siyempre Aiki Akpuru is a foreign import. TIP engineers who's very consistent offensively and defensively. 9-6 as we go into our first time out in this ball game favoring TIP engineers with Joseph Brutas. The demand would want to do a repeat of what they did back in the first round to defeat TIP. Is that going to happen? Long ways to go for the man. Welcome back. Lamang po ang tatlong puntos sa TIP Engineers. Matignas earlier has been able to contribute with a three-pointer. Sabi ni Roldan Pinas, sanayin yun na. Lamang gitin ang pangalan ko, hitting a three-pointer. 
Actually, he was uh, the best player of our last, the last game between Olivares and TIP Engineers. He scored 14 points in the ball game. So Pinas, consistent three-point shooter of TIP Engineers, blooming now. The evolution of basketball. Dati kukuha ka ng malaki, tiga kuha ng rebound, tiga pantay, tiga palpal. Ngayon, kukuha ka ng malaki, natutuwan mo ng gusto, dadagdagan mo yung kanyang weapon. Ngayon, pumupukol na mga malalaki ng tres. Yan yung, yung beauty ng basketball ngayon. Na nag-evolve, tama ka, yung right word, evolution of basketball, big man shooting, you know, tapos Guardia posting up plays, looking for the mismatches. Jonel Bowson, ay makinig sa akin eh. Tinira mo dapat ng tres eh. Gusto mo pa ilapit, natawagan ka ng traveling tuloy. Bukol ng tres ay si MJ Enrique sabi niya, yun ang gagawin ko rito, pumukol ng pumukol ng tres. HP Products by Advanced Solutions, Manila Bulletin. If you talk about uh, three-point shots, Joseph Brutas has now three three-point shots, 100% siya sa, three, sa field goal sa three-point department. You know, it's going to be kind of interesting to ask uh, si Coach Renzi Bahar, out of contention ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. How would you want to be remembered dito sa UCBL? Yung inyong stint in the inaugural season of the UCBL. Well, I'm pretty sure ang gusto yung parlating dyan ni Coach Renzi Bahar will go down fighting. It doesn't matter kung ano yung naging standing namin or record. Basta ang importante, every game makikipag-battle kami. And remember those two games when he was out of the country. Y yun yung big, ano eh, naging big uh, scenario for the Blue Dragons. Pero wala tayong magagawa doon dahil si Coach Renzi Bahar is also the sports director of Diliman Blue Dragons. Mm -hmm. So ibig sabihin, hindi lang basketball ang kanyang pinoproblema. So, lahat pin ginagawa niya ng uh, program. And, and during that program, may prior commitment na sila for China with uh, our former Senator Nikki Cosetek for their varsity program. Grabe, no? 12 all. Less than four minutes to play here in the first. MJ Enriquez missing. Nike Akpur underneath. Ball tapped out of his hands. They got 13 in the shot clock. Ayaw ni MJ Enriquez na walang bantay. Gusto niya, pag nag-tripon siya, may naka-challenge. Came off the bench. Tako Wild with the inbound. Pinakialaman ni Jericho Mandala. Pero ball will stay with TIP. 12 seconds to shoot. Brian Santos in the game. Shot clock is three. Brian Santos with a miss. Alam mo, tingnan mo yung nasa loob. Itong panig ng ati IP engineers. Yung size advantage nila rito. Akpuro, si Roldan Pina, si Brian Santos, si Jore Napoles. Ito pa yung ating mga sponsors naman. Kailangan natin banggitin rito. Cafe Friends, Coco Grill, Karate Kid. We we'll talk about that. Yung kanilang expectations against Olivares. Size advantage working the favor of TIP. Mamaya yan sa aming buong pagbabalik. Here in the first quarter, with just three minutes basically left, and TIP with a two-point lead, Lamang Sadiliman. Aiki Akpuru coming up with a steal. Jore Napoles, iniwan na si Joseph Brutas. Yan ang maganda sa TIP engineers, no? Yung agile big big man nila, no? Si Speaking Jor of bigs, di ba? Yung oh. sabi ko nga kanina. When they battled it out with Olivares for that number two spot, obvious na obvious eh. Yun yung advantage na nakita ko talaga sa TIP engineers eh. Oh, kasi kontrolado nila yung rebounding. Kaya nga. Ah, yeah. Yung second chance point, napakalaking factor yun sa isang ball game. Diyan nagkakapitalize sa TIP engineers dahil nga sa triple towers na rotation dito na, na ni Coach Putin de Vera, now si Coach JB. 
pinabanggit pa nga minsan ni Coach Puti ito nagkwekwentuhan kami yung kanyang acquisition dito kay Ike Akpuro at saka ito si Chris Oroko kay Victor Oroko 6-10 di ba? Sabi nga niya, ito naman mga ito dahil estudyante ito ng TIP. Pero right after that, saan ka na ngayon pupunta? Now he's expecting these guys, most probably you're gonna be going back to your own country. So most probably, you'll try it out sa mga international leagues, di ba? Pero sabi niya, yung point niya rito, especially talking to to Ike Akpuro, yung dream daw niya talaga, yung a big man na point guard eh. Ay, nakikita niya rito kay Ike Akpuro. Sabi niya, personal contribution ko na nga yan eh, kay Ike Akpuro eh na meron siyang kakaiba na skill kahit malaki siya nakakapagbaba siya ng bola nakakapag-orchestrate siya ng play so just like the three-point shot of Brian Santos I'm pretty sure na move lang siya sa small forward position dahil usually big man na nilalaro nito from other schools so tama ka no si Aki Akpuro living the dream of being a point guard even though he's a center of TIP engineers yan ang maganda kay Coach Putit Libera na evolving the basketball, di ba? Hindi lang siya maging ano uh, one-dimensional player. Sama na natin kaya sa kwentuhan dito si Chantal Arboleda. Yes, Chantal. In today's ball game, because of personal matters, I and my assistant coach JB Salas, in their last huddle, coach reminded the boys to trust each other at mag-usap-usap sa court. Back to you guys. Oh, I see. Well, sometimes sabi niya, in more important games, for sure he's going to be present. They need to uh, win just one game. Laban sa Olivares. For sure he's not going to be absent. Might as well take care of other personal matters. Dito. So, dito kay Coach Petit Libera, kahit ano sabihin natin na wala siya o dahil sa ball game for personal matter, I'm pretty sure they have prepared well. We prepared ko ni Coach Petit Libera ang kanyang team bago makapaglaro dahil alam natin na one game Thursday na lang semi-final final four na. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan maging polish ang kanilang opensa, depensa. Yung sitwasyon na nangyayari ngayon sa TIP, KB Salis sa Narian, wala nga ang kanilang head coach. Nangyayari yan dito sa panig ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. It resulted in two losses. Yung assistant coach, hindi... Sabi nga, iba pa rin yun, nandiyan yung head coach. Wow. Eh, ikaw, naki-head coach ka eh. Pagka wala ka, di ba? Parang, saan yung mga... Siguro, nasa si daddy? <laughs> Oo, oh, yun, yun, yun nga sinasabi natin na minsan headless chicken ang nangyayari sa isang team pag wala ang head coach. Doon sa pagkakataon kay Coach uh, Renzi Bahar ng Blue Dragons, eh... Nagresulta nga yan sa dalawang talo. Pero dito sa TIP Engineers, gusto nila maiwasan yung pagkakataon na yun dahil alam nila may chance na sila makabawi against the Blue Dragons. During the time, it was assistant coach Daniel Nudo ang uh, nagbigay ng instructions sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. Here, it's assistant coach J.B. Salas. Of course, they have prepared. Lagi naman yun sa insayo, nakaset ng game plan yan and everything, going into the going into battle, di ba? Pero iba pa rin yung pagganaan dyan yung head coach mo yun. Iba pa rin pagganaan dyan yung general eh. Kung kernel lang, ang iba yun. Eh. <laughs> sa saludo, pero iba yung saludo oh, ano, yung oh, eh, diba? with authority. <laughs> diba? 1915 TIP Engineers and Jay Enriquez with a drive to give TIP a six-point lead. That's six. the first two points of MJ Enriquez. Uh -huh. Joel Balson takes it from the outside and then Romil Hornachon for the putback. Off the bench, Romil Hornachon scoring his first two points. Last shot time. MJ Enriquez decides for the pass. Pero natapos ang ating first quarter of action. Although naman ang TIP engineers nag-apologize si MJ Enriquez. He should have taken the shot. First quarter over. And of course, you are still watching UCBL. Our time to shine. Ito pagsisimula ng ating ikalawang quarter sa ball game na ito. 
from what we have seen here at TIP Engineers, just executing yung kanilang uh, game plans. And that's why they lead by uh, four. Three of nine TIP from the three-point area. Four of nine ng Diliman College. Sigurado madadagdagan pa, pero nagbintis ang layup. Ito si Romil Nation. The special team ni Romil Nation is to shoot three-pointers. What about MJ Enriquez? Apologize again, binomba yung tres. <laughs> And that was a four shot by MJ Enriquez. May tao na sa harapan niya, tinira pa niya. Meantime, Jericho Mondala missing that scoop shot. Ito. Yes. So Lara, Kevin Lara is knocking his first three-point shot dito sa ball game. 24-17. Chris Torado against MJ Enriquez. Torado. Mondala missing the three-pointer. Aiki Apuro. All right, punta mo na natin si Nikki. Napansin na walang espesyal na ginagawa ang TIP sa opensa at Apuro. Pag-atake lang ang ginagawa nila. Kaya naman gusto ni Coach Renzi na huwag din matakot ang kanyang team o matake sa kalaban. This is our last game. I'll make it count. Back to you guys. Well, I've an observation. Nothing special. <laughs> Intriguing. Sin sinabi nga kasi kanina ni Chantal, ang ating courtside reporter na wala naman daw pagbabago sa sistema, sa rotation na gagawin si Coach JB. Kahit wala dito si Coach Putit de Vera. They are here to run the system of Coach Putit de Vera. Yeah, naman. Nothing really fancy for the TIP engineers. It's just more on the aggressiveness and intensity. Ang kinakailangan nilang gawin dito to win the game. So may observation again on si Coach Renzi Bahar. Pero may observation din siya kung paano dapat mag-react. Ito nga kanyang kumpunan dito. They are down by six right now. Si Jericho Mundala is at the line. Happy Toothpaste, Dr. Edwards Sterilized Drinking Water by Euromed. Again, thank you very much to our sponsors here at UCBL. Once again, it's Benji Santiago with Coach Mujing Akot, Chantal Arboleda helping us out along with Nikki Viola. Roldan Pinas. Yung mga ganong press break na ginawa ng TIP engineers, maganda yun sa na, na ma-practice nila because that kind of press break, makakatulong sa kanila yun when they play against Sea Lions because most of the time, Sea Lions traps from the backcourt so nagkakaroon sila ng magandang execution, magandang practice na bibitbitin nila sa Final Four. Si Roldan Pinas nga, iba na ang tindig, iba na ang lakad, di ba? Dalawang free throws ang ipinasok eh. Confident. Very confident na si Roldan Pinas after being the first, uh, getting his first best player of the game. Chris Torado, still the number one assist man in the league. Remember, pagka sinabi natin, mythical five in dalawang puesto sa guard. Dalawang pwesto at forward, then one center will comprise yung ating mythical five sa ating awarding. Don't watch out for that. Magandang malaman niya, no? Kung sino talaga yung ating mythical five members dahil ang daming leading scorers. And, you know, you have Dominic Fajardo as our number one scorer. John John Gabriel, our number one rebounder. So, oh, oh. And also, uh, Raul Yemeli. Raul Yemeli is the number one rebounder, actually. Pinas. Ken Lara with a follow-up. Tsaka pagkaka-explain pa ni uh, Coach Horacio Lem. Kasi alam naman tayo, dinumero itong mga posisyon ng ating mga players. Eh, di ba? Uno, point niya, may shooting guard ka, dos. Di ba? Hindi daw ganun eh. Pag guard, guard. Kay dos ka, kay point guard ka. Okay, kung center, center ka. So, forward, walang small forward, walang power forward. So, tatlong position lang. Oo, parang ganun Center, talaga. forward, and guard. Pero lima. lima Pero lima. Yun. Kailangan siyempre, dahil di ba, dalawang guardia, dalawang forward, dalawang center. Mythical team, ah, oh, mythical five natin yan. Sa UCBL. Pero, masarap pa kasi dun eh, yung individual achievement awards yun. Inaugural season. 
sa annals of history ng UCBL in the future. Labas na labas yung pangalan mo doon. Yan yan. Yan yan yan. Sino mga una ng cover niya? History book na yan. Benji Santiago, Coach Bojing Akot. Sino coach niyan? Siyempre si Boss Tommy Ong. Diba? At siyempre yung ating presidente. Oo. Boss Franklin Evidente. Diba? Oo, yan yung president ng UCBL. Yan. 30-19. Tumalayo na ang TIP. When everything's falling into place for TIP. Ito ba eh. Nagsiself-destruct naman ang Diliman. Brutas with a hurried three. Back when the shot. Miko Tai keeping it alive. Six and a half remaining before we end the second quarter. Peter Cecilio. Bang! First three-point shot of Peter Cecilio. At baba ang uh, lamang sawalo ng TIP. HP Products by Advanced Solutions, Manila Bulletin, more of our sponsors dito sa UCBL. And Diliman committing a turnover. Kamot ulo si Chris Torado. Bakit nga naman? Si Peter Cecilio who hit the three-pointer. Torado kanina naman. Nagkaroon ng uh, turnover itong uh, TIP. Good execution ang gusto magyari ni Coach Renzi Bahal. And in the last game, actually, si Chris Torado halos hindi pinalitan eh. Halos buong ball game. Nakabapad. Kasi nga nag-iisang ace point guard yan ni Coach Renzi Bahal, si Chris Torado. Ang kinakailangan na nag-develop dito ni Chris Torado ay sa kanyang shooting. Yun na lang yung skills niya sa shooting ang kinakailangan niya develop. And the rest is okay. It's 30-22 para sa TIP Engineers. 5 minutes and 43 para natitira sa first half. Sali nyo kami sa kwentuhan. Anong pinag-uusapan ninyo? Hmm. <laughs> Ate, mabili ako ko si Ate. Ate, okay lang. Buat wala ka kasi drinks. <laughs> Biglang tumawa eh. No? Nakita yung sarili niya sa widescreen. Ate, yun yung sarili. Sumbog sa bahay. Ah, panoran nyo ako sa TV. Yan yun eh. Dito sa UCBL, ganyan kami rito eh. Our time to shine. Talagang when we say our time to shine, sama-sama tayo together. Cafe France Congo Grill Karate Kid. Ayan. Matindi rin ng nakanilang pakisama at support na binibigay sa UCBL. Jericho Montano with a steal going all the way. And baba sa lima. Ito lamang ng TIP Engineers. Ito ang maganda dito sa Blue Dragons. Kahit they're down by as much as 11 points, nagtatrabaho para makabalik sa ballgame. Ay yung mga never say die attitude ng Blue Dragons yan ang importante sa ball game. MJ Enrique stumbitin. Maganda yung pagkakadepensa doon ni Joseph Brutas na ilang niya ang easy layup sana ni, ni MJ Enriquez. 30-25 TIP Engineers. Na aling langan. Doon si Peter Cecilio against the 6'10 center of Chris Ocoronco. Ito na. Diliban. Kanina muntik ng maiwanan. They're setting it up very well here. Now shot clock's down to nine. They got to make that move. Cristolado. Brutas! Bang! 13 points for Joseph Brutas. 4 out of 7 in the 3-point area. So, 
Paul Rosopa coming in for Ken Lara and Aki Apuro substituting for Chris Oronco. Ito, we, as we take a look at another three-point shot of Joseph Brutas, cutting the lead of TIP Engineers to two points. Four minutes and two seconds and natitira sa ating ball game. A baseline inbound by TIP. Good defense by the Blue Dragons. Nag-commit ng traveling violation si Aiki Akpuro. Yun yung ginagawa ngayon eh, ng diliman eh, to force those turnovers against TIP. Hit. Hindi na gumagalaw ah. Itong output ng TIP stuck at 30. Jorge Napoles breaking up the play. Pero na si Romil Hornacion. Although shot clock is down to four. Hornacion missing. Ball goes out. One second to shot clock. And Diliman. Good, good top by Miko Tai. Keeping the ball, that possession alive for the Blue Dragons. Kaya lang nga may one second na lang sila dito sa, sa possession na to. May pasa pa, hindi pwede yun. Mental lapse on the part of Diliman College. Nevertheless, it's just a two-point lead para sa TIP. Aiki Apuro. There's a foul. Natamaan pa sa leeg. Ito si Aiki Apuro. Dalawang white shirt ang chumalan sa tira doon ni Aiki Akpuro. A strong drive by Aiki Akpuro resulting to a foul. Lahat dalawang puntos. Palamang para kay Aiki Akpuro in this game. Tatlo na ngayon. He needs to also work on his shooting. Ito si Aiki Akpuro. Nandun ni dribbling skills eh. Nandun ni court awareness niya. And of course, he's got the size, di ba? Pareha sila ni Chris Torado as a point guard. You cannot only execute plays. You cannot only defend. You have to shoot as well. Pag wala kang threat, then they will just sag down and magiging liability ka sa opensa. Peter Cecilio handles Israel Ko. Four-point lead para sa VIP. John L. Bauson. Shot clock down to three. Romil Hornacion. One second to shoot. It's off. Di tumama ng ring. Ang tagal. No one ang execution that time. Coach Renzi didn't like that play at all. Who would? Two minutes and 56 here in the first half. Diliman down by four. Ito po kami sa Olivares College Coliseum for the continuing action of the UCBL. Our time to shine. It's 32-28 para sa TIP. And with less than three minutes, Chantal with this report. Paalala ni assistant coach JB Sals that they need to play as a team and wag magkanya-kanya. He reminded his players that they need to execute their offense. Kailangan mag-double effort sa pag-box out para hindi sila ma-out rebound and look for their matchups. Guys? Okay. Alga maraming paalala na gagawin si coach JB para rito sa TIP dahil wala nga si coach Potit. And this is just a shaky four-point lead para sa TIP engineers. So this... With that time remaining, rather two minutes and 39. Diliman Blue Dragons employing a 2 3 zone defense. It was effective for a while. Joseph Brutas getting the, offense, the defensive rebound, passing the ball to Romil Hernashon. Knocking the three-point shot for Blue Dragons. Lamang na ang Blue Dragons dito. No. No, down by one lang. One, down by na. one point. Nakadikit na. Pinas lost it. Romil Hornacion picks up the loose ball. Peter Cecilio. 
floater is off and Ike Akpuro. Charlie Napoles with the reverse. What a pass by Ike Akpuro getting the two defenders of Blue Dragons to challenge his shot and dropping the ball to Jorge Napoles for a reverse layup. Ayan, kita kita natin. Jorge Napoles, an end one situation. Mi bonus free throw dito si Jorge Napoles. Ilan na ba puntos si Jorge Napoles in this ball game? Well, Jorge Napoles has six points, four rebounds, and two assists. Bilis versus size when looking ahead sa Olivares. Ano pa ang kailangan idagdag ng TIP? More aggressiveness in their defense. Yan ang kinakailangan maging consistent sa kanila. Again, in their offense, meron silang maraming options. Andiyan yung triple towers nila, dandiyan yung shooters nila to kick out the ball, to Rosopa, to Enriquez. But in terms of defense, kinakailangan sila mas maging aggressive dahil ang dilimang Blue Dragons is napakataas ang kanilang aggressiveness sa kadepensa. Aiki Akpuro missing the first free throw. Kanina 2 out of 2 si Aiki Akpuro. Let's see itong second free throw. Kung ano mangyayari kay Aiki Akpuro. It's a missed again. So 50% free throw shooter for this ball game si Aiki Akpuro. Mandala to Bauson. Bauson scoring his two points. Cutting the lead of TIP Engineer to two points with 50 seconds left. Another steal by Bauson to Peter Cecilio. Peter Cecilio going all the way. And a blocking foul was called for Lara of TIP Engineer. Bottom line, 42.5 seconds remaining. Ken Lara, take a look at that piece of action there. Ethan Cecilio is awarded this bonus free throw. Maganda rito sa UCBL, you know, taking a look at this last game here at Diliman College Blue Dragons. Looks so promising. Mga bata, sabi nga ni Coach Renzi Baha, they need... They really needed the experience that they could get out of UCBL. Yung mga teams like, even yung University of Batangas eh, di ba? Kumuha yun ng dalawang panalo to end their campaign, you know? Ibig sabihin, malaki na natutunan nila. Dahil dati, whipping boys sila, sila yung pinag-iigiba ng panalo ng mga kalaban, pero nakakuha sila ng dalawang panalo. So parang, sabi nila, maganda yung challenge eh, para rin sa kanila as a team, eh, di ba? Yung mga teams na natanggal na dito sa ating uh, UCBL. Maraming kasing objective na pwede makuha, may pwede set ng isang team. As for Bulac Bulacan and the Batangas, it's the experience that they want playing against the Manila team. Alam naman natin, recruitment is different from, from the province to Manila. So yung first round talaga was just merely more on getting to know each other, learning the system, learning the opponent but in the second round it was already the game na sinasabi natin na labasan na ng galing labasan na ng adjustment kaya naman on the second round yung mga play in teams kagaya ng Bula ng Batangas eh naka nakapanalo ng dalawa Bulacan also had their chances pero yung mga importanteng games na miss out nila and they lost well the first 20 minutes to play, and na ilaro na po. At uh, close itong ball game na ito. TIP very much in contention. Diliman, of course, they're out, but they're still fighting. And, uh, of course, they want to be remembered as a team that won their last game dito sa inaugural season ng UCBL. 37-36 para sa TIP engineers, despite of the fact na wala nga ang kanilang head coach, si Coach Potit Devera. And right now, we turn you over to Nikki Viola.
Yes, at syempre kasama ko naman ngayon si Joseph Brutas from uh, Diliman. At uh, eh, ngayon, uh, Joseph, uh, paano mo pag gustong maalala ang uh, Diliman dito sa first season ng ating uh, UCBL League? Uh, gusto ko maalala Diliman na uh, tumatak sa mga kalaban namin na uh, isa kaming defense team. Kahit hindi masyado kami bata pa kami sa liga nito, pero lumalaban kami. Tama nga naman. Ano. So, ano sa tingin niyo ba ang uh, dapat niyong uh, i-improve, especially for the next season, para mas lalo pa nga lumakas ang inyong team? Yung offense namin. Then, content defense pa para gumanda lalo ang aming laro. Alright, so uh, Joseph, maraming maraming salamat uh, for that. And Shepe, we'll see uh, more of him later on during our second half. Thank you and back to you guys. Hey, at Paul, 37-36, there's more basketball action coming your way when we enter the second half in just a little while. Halftime, dito sa ball game na ito, and it's a close one, 37-36 para sa TIP Engineers. Folks, you are watching UCBL, our time to shine. And of course, ang inyong kasama rito, Benji Santiago, kasama pa si Coach Bojing Akot. Looking ahead, lagi ko pinapatanong, yeah, ito nga ang ating final day ng eliminations, and TIP will take on Olivares already. Dilima, narinig natin si Joseph Frutas. They want to be remembered as the team. And message pa nga sa other na mga nakalaban nila eh. Depensa kami. Depensa kami. Talagang ang premium is defense. Dahil usually nga sinasabi dyan, Coach, malas ka sa offense. Pero walang malas pagka defense eh, di ba? I agree with you. Yan naman talagang lahat na tinuturo ng coaches. Magtipid ka na sa offense, huwag lang sa depensa. Dahil lang depensa, pag tatamad-tamad ka, masusyutan at masusyutan ka. Yan naman talagang gusto talaga ng Diliman Blue Dragons to make an impact, a statement, a history that they are the fighting, uh, a fighting team, a never say die team with full of defense. Tingnan muna natin ang ilan sa mga magagandang sequence back in the first half. As we take a look at Paul Rosopa with this banking shot, si Joseph Brutas naman, alam naman natin, kamador talaga ito para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. Si Jorey Napoles, considered to be the heart and soul of TIP Engineers doing his thing, and we are expecting to see him in a whole lot of action in the final four. Peter Cecilio, bago natapos ang ating uh, second quarter, made some headway with a nice offensive job. At ito, mga numero natin, very important that happened in the first 20 minutes of play. A uh, two-point field goal, no? 10 out of 24 for TIP Engineers and 5 out of 19 for the Blue Dragons. Sa three-point department, lamang dito ang Diliman Blue Dragons dahil sa, sa three-point shots ni Joseph Brutas, 7 out of 18. And for TIP Engineers, 4 out of 15. Rebounding, napakataas ng, ng rebounding ng TIP Engineers dahil sa triple towers nila na si Aiki Akpuro, Dapoles, Pinyas, and of course, Brian Santos, 30 rebounds for Engineers and 21 for the Blue Dragons. Assist, more sharing of the ball for the Engineers with 10 and only 8 for the Blue Dragons. Yes, at syempre kailangan mabigyan ng atensyon at malaman ninyo ang updates sa mga scorers natin. Si uh, Paul Rosopa with 8-7 kay Napoles, basically balanced scoring para sa TIP Engineers, playing well as a team. Joseph Brutas leading the way with 13 points. Si Romil Hornacion only with 5. Parang uh, naninibago sa kanyang pagbabalik. He did not see action the last time around para rito nga sa panig ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. There's still two quarters ahead dito sa ball game na ito. So uh, just stand by lang kayo sa aming pagbabalik. Second half action, UCBL, our time to shine. Ito simula na ng ating uh, second half of action here in the close one. Kagaya nga ng uh, napakita namin si Chris Oronco. Aba, okay. He wanted a dunk pero walang maidunk na bola. And he commits a turnover. 
si Chris Socorongo, iba rin ang kwento sa akin dito, ni Coach Puti, yung kanyang uh, pag-acquire dito si Chris Socorongo. He played the first game para rito sa panig ng TIP sa UCBL. And then, yung mga sumunod na games doon, binangko niya ito si Chris Socorongo. Nakakita niya na parang hindi malamia, even in practice, ganun. Eh, parang nasabi sa kanya ni Coach Puti, alam mo naman si Coach Puti, all business din yan when it comes to coaching. At sabi niya rito kay Chris Ocoronco, eh, ano ba talaga gusto mong gawin? Kinausap siya ng gusto ni uh, Coach Puti de Vera. He uh, explained to Chris Ocoronco his value, 6'10 ka, marami ka pa mararating, bata ka pa. You know, hindi ako makakapag-promise sa'yo after your stint sa pag-aaral nga sa TIP and after your stint sa yung basketball as member of the TIP engineers hindi ka naman kasi pwedeng magpro di ba so kinausap niya after na pag-uusap na yun remember that game 7 minutes 7 points para kay Chris Socorongo and then lumapit sa kanya si Chris Socorongo after that game at tinignan siya ni Coach Putit Tibera tinanong siya oh, ano sabi ni Chris Socorongo Coach I promise to do well <laughs> Thank you. Dapat yung sinabi niya kagad, Thank you. Dahil sa tiwala na binigay sa kanya ni Coach Putit de Vera. Sometimes yun, you as a coach, no? gusto kong tanongin yan eh. Yung sinasabi natin, kung may attitude problem yung bata ako eh. Uh, ganun, ganun. Ano, ba, ano ba yung sabi yung attitude problem? Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Ano ba yung usual na nakikita ninyo? Basically, yung pagka sinabi mo ano eh, uh, attitude problem, there are times yung pagdating sa practice, hindi mo binibigay yung effort mo, relax ka lang, wala ka aggressiveness, or sa practices, hindi ka umaatin, wala, marami kang rason, maraming, maraming ano eh, reasons kung bakit ka nagkakaroon na tinatawag na attitude problem ka ng coaches. But at the end of the day, the coaches has to ano, discipline you. Pakita sa'yo na mas kailangan mag-adjust ka sa coach. Hindi kami coaches mag adjust sa iyo as a player. That's right. Ikaw yung pinakatatay, di ba? mag adjust ka ba? Kung bali na nga, ang nakikita mo sa iyong anak. Tama ka, pero napakaganda dito ng adjustment ni Coach uh, Renzi Bahar. They are now leading with four points. Meron pa two free throws dito si Christopher Torado. Happy Toothpaste, Dr. Edwards Sterilized Drinking Water by Euromed. I think sponsors for the UCBL. At ito going for his second free throw. Uy, maalala ko nga pala yung uh, kanina kinong graduate mo. No? Ibalita natin muli dahil uh, kumbaga, representing the Philippines in international competition ng iyong Pinoy Youth Dreamers 16 under sa Malaysia. Oh, congratulations sa ating team Pilipinas sa 16 under na PYD. Winning against Singapore last night with a score of 102.72. Ngayon, pasalamat din tayo kay Mr. Alexander Balutan and Mr. Jose Corpus of Philippine Charity Sweepstakes. And of course, salamat din sa samahan basketball ng Pilipinas. Ilang teams ba ang kakompetensya dyan ng uh, Philippines? There are eight teams participating. In, there's India, Malaysia, Macau, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei, and Australia. Sino ba nakikita mo kung mga malalakas dyan? 16 under yan. Eh? Yung host team talaga, yung Malaysia. Siya yung pinaka-competing team. Uh, pinaka-competitor ng Philippines. Para sa Shiaba, sa SEA Games, it's always going to be Malaysia at saka Indonesia yung bahago pagdating sa ating national basketball program. Very good, ha? So, a good start para sa ating uh, national team, representing Team Philippines. Dyan sa Kulit, Malaysia. 49-41 already here para sa Diliman. At si Joseph Brutas continues to pour in the points para sa Diliman. Ilan na ba ang kanyang contribution, Coach Bujing? Uh, Joseph Brutas has now 15 points and 2 rebounds, 2 assists and 3 steals. John L. Bauzon, more scoring act for him para sa Diliman. Biglang nag-fifth gear ang depensa dito ng Blue Dragons. Na, kaya naman nagkaroon sila ng malaking lamang na with 8 points. With 10 points, correction. Pinakamalaki na yan in this ball game. And Romil Hornasyon, 
been signaled by coach Lenzi Baha to get back into the thick of things. Si Chris Oronco, kanina pa naglalambitin sa ring. Okay lang sana kung pumapasok yung bola eh. The aggressiveness ni Chris Oronco, kailangan mo yan. But he has to have more games, more learning experience against other teams, competing, competing team, para talagang makita natin yung pinaka-improvement niya. So just in case, sila nga may points to be to advantage, laban sa Olivares. And they're going to be meeting. A lot of people are expecting that CEU Scorpions will uh, get the next... Uh, para makompleto yung ating finals, ano? Tama. Eh, mabigat din yan. TIP, two tries. They have not been able to do the job laban sa CEU Scorpions. We'll talk about more of the scenarios in the future. The next game date natin, Final Four Battle. Ayan, ayan, ayan ba? Nakamaroon na yan? Yan, yan yung nakamaroon? Sa oh, kaliwa? Tinuturo ni Joey eh. Oo. Oh. Ay! <laughs> oh, sa kanan din. <laughs> Nagulat sila eh, no? You're gonna be on TV. Ha? Huh? You are on TV actually right now. But we did this game earlier. At dito nga po sa Olivares College Coliseum. Sa Sukat Paranaque. Sa tingin ninyo? So many pretty faces dito sa UCBL. Eh, dadami pa yan pagdating natin ng Final Four Battle. HP Products by Advanced Solutions. Manila Bulletin. Magagandang babae. Magagandang lalaki. Tayo yun. Na broadcasters. <laughs> Dapat i isasabit mo ka agad yun sa una, hindi sa dulo. Ay, yun, eh, ladies first. Ladies first ang labanan dyan. Eh. Ah. Diba? Bauson. 7 points, 4 rebounds. Coach Renzi Bahar. Kumbaga, parang sinasabi. We know the formula on how to defeat TIP. Ang sabi niya, dapat kausapin ako ng Olivares. Kakwento mo ba naman si Coach Mike sa gigit? Eh si Coach Mike sa gigit naman kanina. Nakapanalo sila laban sa CEU. 65-63. Nagwagi po ang Olivares. Yes, Olivares, the first team to beat CEU Scorpions in the great game by J-Boy Solis. Yan. Yeah. Ang gandang pagkapanalo yun ng Olivares College. Madadala nila yung momentum, yung kanilang confidence level tataas. Go, coming into the final four of our UCBL. Well, who knows what's really going to happen this coming Thursday. And schedule natin dyan. TIP versus Olivares ang first game natin. And then the CEU Scorpions will battle it out against Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. Again, CEU Scorpions with a twice to beat advantage after being number one at the end of the eliminations. And then number two naman ang TIP Engineers na kasaklo. Kuya na hinahabol ito sa pumputos na lamang ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. MJ Enriquez! Ayaw! Romil Hornacion is fouled. The opportunity for Romil Hornacion to go for a fast break and napigilan nyo ng, ta uh, ng players at TIP Engineers. You know, credit to Lara and Matignas. Torado, pero bad save. Napunta kay MJ Enriquez. An opportunity to bring down the lead. The 10 point lead of Diliman. Brian Santos from the outside. Nope. Last touch, Romil Hernashon on the rebound against 6 10 Chris Ocorongo. Roll Dan Pinas can shoot from the outside. See, Brian Santos, we have seen him done it also. Things na kailangan na. Uh, maobserbahan at mapag-aralan din ng uh, Olivares College 17 to 6 run here in the third para sa Diliman Torado 
Cecilio Blanca kay Okorongo. MJ, Brian Santos, Matignas, no! Santos. Good pass by Matignas. Nandun sa ilalim si Brian Santos for that reverse layup. Approaching the final three minutes ng ating third quarter. Romil Hovnasyon. How many times na siya nag sa scoring para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons? Yes, si Chantal. Merong report sa atin. What's that, Chantal? 40 IP na pag-usapan nila sa dugout. No, wala pagbabago sa game plan. Just execute the play, feel the position, mag-usok sa defense, and be personally accountable to their man. I ask assistant coach JB Salas kung bakit hindi niya ginagamit si Hardy Diego. And according to him, ito pala daw ay may sakit. Back to you guys. Ah, okay. So, under the weather, nagbabago ang panahon. Medyo lumalamig na dahil nearing Christmas already. We have a timeout. Ayan. Yes! Anong titignan nila? Nandito naman kami. Kung saan-saan pa kayo tumitingin. Hindi, <laughs> sumisilip sila yun sa widescreen. No? Ikaw naman, no? Yeah. Okay. Si? At saka, eto, dapat maging ugali. Ugali na naman talaga ng Pilipino. That's why we are one of the happiest countries in the world. Huh? Everywhere they are, kahit nga may mga natural disasters, panakangiti pa rin ng Pilipino and they love to be seen on camera. Grabe, no? Ganyan sila. Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Kaya nga naman yung support na binibigay sa atin ng ating mga sponsors. Yes, nakakapangiti rin tayo. Todong iti, abot agad tenga. 54-45 here. Para sa panik pa rin ng Diliman. Two chances to score. Unproductive. And TIP Engineers playing without Harley Diego na may sakit. Pero nakabihis. Pero wag nang puwersahin. Peter Cecilio scoring his 13 points. Very persistent, very aggressive Peter Cecilio in this ball game. Pakang gusto niya back to back. Best player of the game, uh, Anders. Pwede. MJ Enriquez missing the outside. Wala pang tres si MJ Enriquez in this game. Meron na ba? Parang wala ka matandaan eh. Wala pa. Dalawa pinukol niya. Wala na buslo. Samantala, sumubok si John L. Paulson. Ano niya? Madulas yung bola. Tatlong beses na sumusubok si Jodel Bautson ay hindi pa rin ta siya nakaka-shoot sa buong game na to sa three-point area. Approaching the final two minutes ng ating third quarter. 56-45 ito para sa Diliman. Okoronko with another turnover. Yeah, nagkaroon ng turnover doon si Chris Okoronko kasi hindi rin niya na-control yung bola. But you have to understand, nangyayari din yung ganung klaseng turnover dahil sa passer. Hindi maganda ang pagkakapasa ni Lara kay Chris Okoronko. Kaya naman, na, nag-fumble si Chris Okoronko at nagkaroon sila ng turnover. Ball the hands of John L. Bauson. Mondala. Israel Ko. Hornasyon. Finally, Romil Hornasyon knocking another three-point shot. Yung unang three-point shot niya was way back in the first quarter. So, meron na siyang nine points. Foul on Bauson. One minute and 18 to play here in the third. Ito natin ito. Play na ito. Romil Hornasyon with a three. His first in the game. Parabang right now, he's beginning to feel it. It's like more to come because it's the third quarter pa lang tayo. Again, he did not play the last time around. Arvin Angeles lines it up for the three. Power! We've seen him score in the last ga few games na na cover natin. He's not only a scorer, but he's also a defender. Yeah. 
Arvin Angeles contributing sa opensa ng Diliman Blue Dragons. Grabe tuwan-tuwa sila doon sa bench ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. After that basket by Arvin Angeles, take a look at this play, you know, para sa Diliman. Ngayon po, may kuha tayo nung sa bench eh. After he hit that basket, nakita ko alas nagugulpihan sila nung sa bench. <laughs> sa tuwa. Tuwan-tuwa eh, no? Kasi nga, malapit na yung Pasko. 28 days na lang, Christmas na. 38.7 seconds to play. Roldan Pinas, double teamed. A Coronco with a basket and one. New three point field goal, not in Benji. 10 out of 23 for the Blue Dragons. And for DIP Engineers, it's 4 out of 21. Kanina pa sa musubok, patang pa nga, gusto mangyari niyo, Koronko. Pero this time around, he just made sure about that. Chris Koronko has four points and nine rebounds. Last 25 seconds of the third. He steals it all done, Pinas. Matignas. Can Lara. Pinas with a teardrop. Ariel, Peter Cecilio, there's still time. Can he make the shot? Na Aldo Bo, Pinas. Did that count? Magri review ng ating mga referees. Yeah, Basal Peter, jump shot by Pinas. Hindi ko rin sigurato eh. Parang ang tingin ko pa nga, not counted eh. Hinihingi pa nga ni Chris Ocoronco yung ball eh. Pero tinira na ni Pinas. Sabi ni, ni Ocoronco, Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Eh tinira, pumasok. Nice shot! <laughs> eh titignan muna natin kung counted. Uh, this will be nice kung pumasok. Pag hindi, ayos lang. Good try. Diba? It's not counted. Pero ang ating pa, technical group, nire-review. Hindi, ating technical group has their own uh, version of a uh, video. So nire-review nila kung pumasok talaga sa... Uh, sa oras yung huling tira doon ni uh, Pinyas. Nakatabay pa rin tayo rito, ano? It's taking some time. Might as well be sure. And nire-review yan ng ating technical director, uh, si Boss Bernard Young, at si Ariel Bermeo, supervisor. Kung counted. So, talaga namang Too seriously. Close. Too seriously. close to call. Oo, nang talaga Pinanunood, nire-review, paulit-ulit. Tinitingnan kung counted yung tira ni Pinas o hindi. Nevertheless, napakaganda ng start ng third quarter dito ng Blue Dragons. Scoring 26 points and only 11 for the TIP engineers. So, bumulusok ang kumpensa dito ng Blue Dragons, Benji, sa third quarter. Not counted! Took some time. Sabi ko nga, mas mabuti na yung sigurado. 62-48 pa rin tayo rito at the end of the third. This is the fourth and final quarter. Remember, we started this ball game. Na ang kinikwento namin sa inyo, Diliman College beating TIP in the first round. This is for them the second meeting. Look at Blue Dragons. Explosive in the third. 26-11. Outscoring the TIP engineers. Ayan, sinimula na naman ni Joseph Brutas ang kanilang opensa sa Blue Dragons. Meron na siyang 18 points dahil sa another 3-point shot. Matignas going to Okoronko. Ken Lara shoots the play. It's offline. Tapit. Umulik kay Ken Lara. Ken Lara naipit sa ilalim. Ball goes out. 12 seconds. No, make that 14. At baka may foul na itinawag kay Miko Tai. Una pa lamang ni Miko Tai. Alam mo Benji, 
uh, down dito ang, ang TIP Engineers because one of uh, the player of TIP Engineers, Harley Jeco is sick. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung scoring pa lang nila, eh, nawala na kagad dyan yung mga 14 to 15 points kada ball game. Tama. Brian Santos inside to Chris Ocoronco. Oh, yung problema dun eh. Nakatalikod siya sa board. Nandun sa ibabaw ang shot clock. Hindi niya nakikita. Kahit na 6-10 yan. Na double team. Good double teaming effort by Blue Dragons against uh, the 6-10 Chris Ocoronco. Yung reaction ni uh, assistant coach uh, Jamie Salas eh. Ano? Sayang. Ano eh, speechless siya eh. Pero nagbago yung rotation dito ni Coach JB Sales after the first half. Nag-decide siya i-limit yung playing time dito ni Jorey Napoles, Aiki Akpuro, and Paul Rosopa. And remember, itong si Harley Jago nga. Hindi pa pinaglaro dito. This, probably they're already preparing for uh, for the game on Thursday on the Final Four. So, syempre gusto ni Coach JB maging healthy being healthy and players nila. You know you wanted to win the game. But at the end of the day, you want your st your starting five, your star players to be healthy. You know, wala na magkaroon ng injury papasok sa Final Four. One thing that's also going to be considered by CEU Scorpions huh? in their uh, battle laban sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. They lost kanina sa Olivares. I can only imagine the effect of the loss na yon ng CEU Scorpions. The talo ng CEU Scorpions, babalikan yun ng, ng ni Coach John Garcia. Kung saan siya nagkamali, kung saan nagkaproblema. Pero at the end of the day, yung kanya rotation is different from the usual rotation na ginamit niya against Olivares. Pero si Coach Bonnie Garcia, sigurado ko re-reviewin at panunoorin niya ang game. Kung paano ba nag, nagkaroon ng advantage ang Olivares sa bawat oh, game niya? Oo, tama ka it's not only that. Nakita natin kanina ang ginagawa nga ng CEU. Is, di ba sabi ko nga parang batch per batch ang pasok ng mga tao rito. Eh. Meron ka group 1 na nag-start. And then, unti-unti, may papasok na yung group 2. Talagang all the way down to group 3. Parang diba? platoon Ganun substitution eh. na nangyari, no? Ay, may tindakan yung grupo yan, eh, di ba? Pero they want to... He wanted to that everybody's going to be in the same page. Na pare-pareho yung level of play na makukuha kahit na sino ang bunutin mo sa bench. Ganun din tinitingnan dito, most probably, ng uh, other teams like itong TIP. They're going to be, lalo na, meron pa naman tayong 7 minutes and 23, but down by 15, just keep on trying. Pag bumaba pa ito, yung oras at hindi pa gaano nababawasan din yung lamang rito ng diliman most probably TIP could just forget about it and really put their concentration sa kanilang laban naman against Olivares this coming Thursday they're gonna be the first game ha, sa ating uh, semi-final sa ating final four on Thursday dito pa rin po yan ha, sa Olivares College Coliseum and one thing that TIP also has to consider here is that syempre teritoryo ng Olivares at ang venue the student body diba? ang supporters baka kaklase lang pagdating ng final four kasama na kamag-anak diba? sigurado yan talagang magiging jump pack itong uh, coliseum ng Olivares sa final four so, yun mga iisipin din ng TIP those are factors hindi man papasok yun sa coaching pero makikita mo yung effect na yun eh, diba? so But, you gotta have a solid game plan mararamdaman yun ng players kasi hindi meron tayong tinatawag na di ba six man so sila yung magbibigay ng uh, energy sa players ng Olivares Happy Toothpaste Dr. Edward Sterilized Drinking Water by Eurobid kanina nga nag-uumpisa na yun eh eh dikdikan pa naman yung laro ng Olivares tsaka si pagka bola na lang uh, si EU na rinig natin yung mga uh, Estudyante ng Olivares eh. Yan yung sinisigaw, di ba? G-Bench! G-Bench! Ano yung G-Bench? Benji! Ah, G-Bench! <laughs> Galing, nai-lay up mo pa yun. 
Samantalang si Joseph Brutas meron na dito 20 points and 3 rebounds, 2 assists and 4 steals. Grabe si G. Bench ng Olivares. Hindi, Quezon City ako eh. Hindi ba Jingbu? Pwede rin. Jingbu. Mas malapit yun eh sa defense. Ah, G. Bench. Six minutes and 15. HP Products by Advanced Solutions. Manila Bulletin. Our of our sponsors dito pa sa UCBL. Miko Tai. Joseph Brutas. Cecilio. Nawala yung bola sa end line. Nawala ng spasyo si Peter Cecilio dahil hinatid kay Chris Ocoronco para dumipensa. Wala naman talaga makikita ang bintana si Peter Cecilio dahil nasa ilalim na siya. Nandun pa si Chris Ocoronco. Matignas. Lean-in shot won't go for Brian Santos. Torado. Cecilio fouled by MJ Enriquez. It was a good fast break play by Chris Tupert. Torado making that extra pass to Peter Cecilio. May two free throws dito si Peter Cecilio. 69-52, Diliman College still with the lead. A timeout has been called. UCBL, our time to shine. Balikan po natin ang aksyon at si Peter Cecilio titira ng dalawang free throws. Off the year, tinanong ko dahil ang leading assist man nga ito si Chris Torado pero meron lamang siyang apat na assist. Cafe, Cran oh, Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Sponsors natin para dito sa UCBL. Big numbers being put up here by Peter Cecilio pero hindi pumasak yung kanyang dalawang free throws. 69-52. Five and a half remaining in this game. Pocoronco, double team. Matignas with a left-handed layup. Nadukot pa yon ni Matignas with his left hand. Ang ganda na ng depensa ng Blue Dragons pero nakagawa pa ng paraan si Matignas. The last five minutes of this ball game. Looking good at Diliman College Blue Dragons. Brutas missing the three. Mondala with a pass, but Mikotai is blocked. That's the second block of uh, Chris Okoronko against Mikotai. Si Okoronko naman na foul ni Mikotai. Apat ng team fouls sa Diliman. Brian Santos, bola na tapik palabas si Mondala. Hindi pa pala lumabas yun. Nakaagaw tuloy si Mondala. Mondala to Brutas. Bothered by the presence there. Oh, oh, oh. Kaya kailangan a little fall away for Joseph Brutas. Good body balance by uh, Joseph Brutas against Chris Ocoronco. Meron na siya dito 22 points. And he, he was the one who, play, who played tough defense against MJ Enriquez. Kaya nagkaroon ng cross-court pass. Namunti ka na mag-turnover ang TIP Engineers. 17-point lead para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. Well, something has to give. Meron sila kanya-kanyang purpose coming into this ball game. Diliman College, this is their last game for the inaugural season of the UCBL. An offensive foul was called on Chris Okoronko. Ang ganda pa naman ang pinakikita dito ni Chris Okoronko. He has 7 points and 12 rebounds. Seventy-one fifty-four. Brutas for three at short. MJ Enriquez. Oh 
Shot clock down seven. Mandala missing the jump hook. He almost got it back. Sa pangulit ito si Chris Torado. MJ Enriquez, 4-3! Bang! MJ Enriquez, 3! That's the first three-point shot of MJ Enriquez. He has now five points. Five lang, ano? Very unorthodox. Ali, you play the backfire in Parasa Diliman College. Wala na tatlong minuto. Ken Lara, nagkakabol ang PIP. Matignas has stated for the three. Pinas, no hesitation, but overshooting. That's a Cristorado. Ayusin natin dito. Labang tayo. Punta mo na natin, si Nikki Viola. Well, makikita na kanina sa Hada na satisfied na nga si Coach Friends sa ipinapakita performance ng kanyang team. Pero gusto pa niya na mas may puso and attitude ang kanyang mga alaga sa kanilang laro. He encourages his team to believe in themselves dahil niwala siya na kaya, nila, kaya nilang talunin ang kanilang kalaban ngayon. Back to you guys. Two minutes and 27 remaining. Tres de Torado. Just falls short. MJ Enriquez, pinalipag yung press. Gusto, gusto ka agad ni MJ Enriquez magkaroon ng impact sa, sa last quarter nito kasi nga kanina pa siya malas. Kaya nga meron na siyang 5 points na nakontribute dito sa ball game. Romilor Nation missing his turnaround basket. MJ Enriquez Manipis making that. Manipis na oras, ha? There was a scramble for the ball between Torado and Pinas. Ang nanalo doon si Torado at nagkaroon pa ng foul si Pinas. Timeout muna, 71-59. Pwede pa ba? 95 seconds to play. UCBL, alamin ng susunod na kabanata. Magkatabi na sila, nagtitext pa sila. Kita mo nga naman yun. Ano? <laughs> Sumisigaw yung crowd eh. No? Sweet! <laughs> Okay, no, nag react <laughs> Oh, nag react Wow. Ito. Meron na naman execution ng Blue Dragons and their single double play. A curl by Romil Hornacion and a penetration. Two points for Romil Hornacion increases the lead of the Liman Blue Dragons to 73-59. Brian Santos taking the three-point shot. He's been missing a lot in the three-point three-point area. You know, with this time remaining in the double-digit lead, the double-digit lead will be okay, Papano, but this is still a double-digit lead for the Diliman College Blue Dragons. Is it safe to say, hindi nakabawi ang TIP? Well, siguro, tatalogin mo rin ang TIP. Under the circumstances, naunahan na sila, and things like yung usual na pumapasok para sa kanila, hindi nangyayari ngayon. Siguro sabihin na nila, might as well malas na kami ngayon. Huwag lang dun sa susunod na mas importanteng game namin, di ba? Tama. Sa third quarter, dun talaga nagkamalas-malas ang TIP Engineers dahil meron lang silang 11 points in that quarter. Samantalang ang Blue Dragons, eh, pumataw naman talaga. Bumulusok with 26 points sa third quarter. Hornasyon falls short, shot clock violation, but 73-61 with only 21.2 seconds remaining. Coach Renzi Bahar and Diliman College Blue Dragons doing a repeat against TIP. So TIP, somehow, masasabi lang natin dito, or pwedeng yun nga ang sitwasyon. They never solve a problem named Diliman College Blue Dragons. With the win of uh, Diliman Blue Blue Dragons, magiging number five sila yun, sa standing yun. instead of you know number six. Dahil nga sa kinalo nila ang Bulacan State, 
University. So it was a good job for the Blue Dragons, the mga players, the coach Renzi Bahar. Magandang pagkakabawi, magandang winning note to end the UCBL tournament of the Blue Dragons. 73-61, Diliman College Blue Dragons. And basically, a good game. What a way to end their campaign. But still coming up with a win, that's always a nice thing. DIP Engineers, we will be seeing them in the final four. This is not the end of the story or end of the line for them. Kasama ngayon, Niki Viola, ang ating best player of the game. Yes, kasama ko ulit dito ngayon si Joseph Bruna. So, uh, Joseph, uh, congratulations. And you finished the first season of UCBL strong with your team. Uh, so, uh, yung medyo bragging rights uh, to ngayon na pangalawang beses niyo nang natalo ang uh, TIP. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin nito para sa inyo? Uh... Sabi na sa amin ni Coach na huwag kami magpapabaya lagi pag every may makakalaban kami. Kahit tinalo kami, kailangan namin bumawi talaga. Kahit yung TIP, tinalo namin, kailangan para hindi namin sila pabawiin sa game na to. Okay, so ngayon, uh, wild guest lang, sino ba sa tingin mo ang uh, magme-meet sa finals ng UCBL for this season? CEU TIP. CEU TIP, diretso ang sagot ni Joseph. Pero once again, thank you so much at dahil dyan, syempre, meron kang special gift certificate from Cafe France. So, may pang-date ka na. And may, oh, let me, baka may mga gusto kang batiin. Uh, binabati ko yung family ko, yung mga friend ko sa, sa amin, sa Navaliches. Mga tita ko, uh, yung mga friend ko, especially kayo sa best friend ko. Okay, best friend. Okay, thank you so much. And Joseph, and congratulations. So, back to you guys. Yun na tawagin ngayon. Best! <laughs> Again, a final four natin. The cast is complete. CEU Scorpions will take on Colejo de San Lorenzo Griffins. Twice to beat ang CEU. Sa kabilang banda naman ang TIP Engineers. Laban sa number three na Olivares Sea Lions. Twice to beat naman ang TIP. All these are happening this coming December 1st. Kita nyo nga naman, Desyembre na. Ang first game natin, TIP versus Olivares CEU against CDSL. Dito pa rin po yan sa Olivares College. Dito po sa Sukat Paranaque. And once again, thank you very much. The eliminations has finally ended. The battle has ended, but the war is just about to start. Sa ngalan po ng ating mga nakasama, Chantal Arboleda, Nikki Viola, Coach Bujing Akot, Benji Santiago here. Thank you for watching UCBL, our time to shine. We'll see you at the ball games. Sinabi natin, mythical five in dalawang pwesto sa guard. Dalawang pwesto at forward. Then one center will comprise yung ating mythical five sa ating awarding. Do watch out for that. Magandang malaman yan. No? Kung sino talaga yung ating mythical five members dahil ang daming leading scorer. You know, you have Dominic Fajardo as our number one scorer. John John Gabriel, our number one rebounder. So, oh, uh, and also uh, Raul Yemeli. Raul Yemeli is the number one rebounder, actually. Pinas. Ken Lara with a follow-up. Tsaka pagkaka-explain pa ni uh, Coach Rachelet. Kasi alam naman tayo, dinumero itong mga posisyon ng ating mga players. Eh, di ba? Uno, point yan, may shooting guard ka, dos, di ba? Hindi daw ganun eh. Pag guard, guard, kay dos ka, kay point guard ka. Ganun. Kung center, center ka. So, forward, walang small forward, walang power forward. Sa so, tatlong posisyon lang. Oo, parang ganun talaga. Center, talaga. forward, and guard. Pero lima. lima Pero lima. Yun. Kailangan siyempre, dahil di ba, dalawang guardia, dalawang forward, dalawang center. Mythical team, ah, oh, mythical five natin yan sa UCBL. Yan ang makasarap pa kasi dun eh. Yung individual achievement awards yun. Inaugural season. Sa annals of history ng UCBL in the future. Labas na labas yung pangalan mo dun eh. Di ha? Yan ang yun. History Sino book. Sino makauna ng cover niya? History book na yan. Benji Santiago. Coach Bojing Akot. Uh, <laughs> Sino coach niyan? Siyempre si Boss Tommy Ong. Di ba? Diba? At siyempre yung ating presidente. Ong. Oh, Boss Franklin Evidente, di ba? Oh, yan yung president ng UCBL. Yeah. 
30-19. Tumalayo na ang TIP. When everything's falling into place for TIP. Ito ba eh, nagsiself-destruct naman ang Diliman. Brutas with a hurry three. Back when the shot. Miko Tai keeping it alive. Six and a half remaining before we end the second quarter. Peter Cecilio Bang! First three point shot of Peter Cecilio. At baba ang uh, lamang sa walo ng TIP. HP Products by Advanced Solutions, Manila Bulletin, more of our sponsors dito sa UCBL. And Diliman committing a turnover. Kamot ulo si Chris Torado. Bakit nga naman? Si Peter Cecilio who hit the three-pointer. Torado kanina naman. Nagkaroon ng uh, turnover itong uh, TIP. Good execution ang gusto magyari ni Coach Renzi Bahal. And in the last game, actually, si Chris Torado, halos hindi pinalitan eh. Halos buong ball game. Nakababad. Kasi nga, nag-iisang ace point guard yan ni Coach Renzi Bahal, si Chris Torado. Ang kinakailangan na na-develop dito ni Chris Torado ay sa kanyang shooting. Yun na lang yung skills niya sa shooting ang kinakailangan niya develop. And the rest is okay. It's 30-22 para sa TIP Engineers. 5 minutes and 43 para natitira sa first half. Sali nyo kami sa kwentuhan. Anong pinag-uusapan ninyo? Hmm. <laughs> ate, mabili ako mo si ate. Ate, okay lang. Wag tula ka kasi drinks. <laughs> Biglang tumawa eh, no? Nakita yung sarili niya sa widescreen. Tayo rin yung salong. Sumbog sa bahay. Ah, panoran nyo ako sa TV. Yan yun eh. Dito sa UCBL, ganyan kami rito eh. Our time to shine. Talagang when we say our time to shine, sama-sama tayo together. Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Ayan. Pating di rin ng kanilang pakisama at support na binibigay sa UCBL. Jericho Montano with a steal going all the way. And baba sa lima. Ito ang lamang ng TIP Engineers. Ito ang maganda dito sa Blue Dragons. Kahit they're down by as much as 11 points, nagtatrabaho para makabalik sa ballgame. Eh, yung mga never say die attitude ng Blue Dragons yan ang importante sa ball game. MJ Enriquez obitin. Maganda yung pagkakadepensa doon ni Joseph Brutas na ilang niya ang easy layup sana ni, ni MJ Enriquez. 30-25 TIP Engineers. Ay! Na alinglangan Doon si Peter Cecilio against the 6'10 center of Chris Ocoronco. Ito na. Diliban. Kanina muntik ng maiwanan. They're setting it up very well here. Now shot clock's down to nine. They gotta make that move. Cristorado. Brutas! Bang! 13 points for Joseph Brutas. 4 out of 7 in the three-point area. So Paul Rosopa coming in for Ken Lara and Aki Apuro substituting for Chris Ocoronco. Ito, we, as we take a look at another three-point shot of Joseph Brutas, cut in the lead of TIP Engineers to two points. Four minutes and two seconds and natitira sa ating ball game. A baseline inbound by TIP. Good defense by the Blue Dragons. Kinag-commit ng traveling violation si Aiki Akpuro. 
Yun yung ginagawa ngayon eh, ng diliman eh, to force those turnovers against TIP. Hit. Hindi na gumagalaw ha. Ah. Itong output ng TIP stuck at 30. Jorge Napoles breaking up the play. Pero na ni si Romil Hornacion. Although shot clock is down to four. Hornacion missing. Ball goes out. One second to shot clock. And Diliman. Good, good top by Miko Tai. Keeping the ball, that possession alive for the Blue Dragons. Kaya lang ah, may one second na lang sila dito sa, sa possession na to. May pasa pa, hindi pwede yun. Mental lapse on the part of Diliman College. Nevertheless, it's just a two-point lead para sa TIP. Aiki Apuro. Boom. There's a foul. Natamaan pa sa leg. Ito si Aiki Apuro. Dalawang white shirt ang chumalan sa tira doon ni Aiki Akuro. A strong drive by Aiki Akuro resulting to a foul. Dahil dalawang puntos pa lamang para kay Aiki Akuro in this game. Tatlo na ngayon. He needs to also work on his shooting. Ito si Aiki Akpuro. Nandun yung dribbling skills eh. Nandun yung court awareness niya. And of course, he's got the size, di ba? Pareha sila ni Chris Torado as a point guard. You cannot only execute plays. You cannot only defend. You have to shoot as well. Pag wala kang threat, then they will just suck down and magiging liability ka sa opensa. Peter Cecilio handles Israel Ko. Four point lead para sa VIP. John L. Bauson. Shot clock down to three. Romil Hornacion. One second to shoot. It's off. Dito mama ng ring. Ang tagal. No one execution that time. Coach Renzi didn't like that play at all. Who would? Two minutes and 56 here in the first half. Diliman down by four. Ito po kami sa Olivares College Coliseum for the continuing action of the UCBL. Our time to shine. It's 32-28 para sa TIP. And with less than three minutes, Chantal with this report. Paalala ni assistant coach JB Sals that they need to play as a team and wag magkanya-kanya. He reminded his players that they need to execute their offense. Kailangan mag-double effort sa pag-box out para hindi sila ma-out rebound and look for their matchups. Guys? Okay. Alga maraming paalala na gagawin si coach JB para rito sa TIP dahil wala nga si coach Potit. And this is just a shaky four-point lead para sa TIP engineers. So this... With that time remaining, rather right two minutes and 39. Diliman Blue Dragons employing a 2 3 zone defense. It was effective for a while. Joseph Brutas getting the, offense, the defensive rebound, passing the ball to Romil Hernachon. Knocking the three-point shot for Blue Dragons. Lamang na ang Blue Dragons dito. No. No, down by one lang. One, down by na. one point. Nakadikit na. Pinas lost it. Romil Hornacion picks up the loose ball. Peter Cecilio. Floater is off in Aiki Akpuro. With the reverse. What a pass by Aiki Akpuro getting the two defenders of Blue Dragons to challenge his shot. And dropping the ball to Jorge Napoles for a reverse layup. Ayan, kita kita natin. Jorge Napoles, an end one situation. 
may bonus free throw dito si Jorge Napoles. Ilan na ba puntos si Jorge Napoles in this ball game? Well, Jorge Napoles has six points, four rebounds, and two assists. Bilis versus size when looking ahead sa Olivares. Ano pa ang kailangan dagdag ng TIP? More aggressiveness in their defense. Yan ang kinakailangan maging consistent sa kanila. Again, in their offense, meron silang maraming options. Andyan yung triple towers nila, dandyan yung shooters nila to kick out the ball, to Rosopa, to Enriquez. But in terms of defense, kinakailangan sila mas maging aggressive dahil ang dilimang Blue Dragons is napakataas ang kanilang aggressiveness sa kadepensa. Aiki Akpuro missing the first free throw. Kanina 2 out of 2 si Aiki Akpuro. Let's see itong second free throw. Kung ano mangyayari kay Aiki Akpuro. It's a missed again. So 50% free throw shooter for this ball game si Aiki Akpuro. So Bauson, Bauson scoring his two points, cutting the lead of TIP Engineer to two points with 50 seconds left. Another steal by Bauson to Peter Cecilio. Peter Cecilio going all the way and a blocking foul was called for Lara of TIP Engineer. Abatabla ito, 42.5 seconds remaining. Ken Lara, take a look at that piece of action there. Ethan Cecilio is awarded this bonus free throw. Maganda rito sa UCBL, ano? Taking a look at this last game niya ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. Looks so promising. Mga bata, sabi nga ni Coach Renzi Baha, they need... They really needed the experience that they could get out of UCBL. Yung mga teams like, even yung University of Batangas eh, di ba? Kumuha yun ang dalawang panalo to end their campaign, ano? Ibig sabihin, malaki na natutunan nila. Dahil dati, whipping boys sila, sila yung pinag-iigiba ng panalo ng mga kalaban, pero nakakuha sila ng dalawang panalo. So parang, sabi nila, maganda yung challenge eh, para rin sa kanila as a team, eh, di ba? Yung mga teams na natanggal na dito sa ating uh, UCBL. Marami kasing objective na pwede makuha, may pwede set ng isang team. As for Bulac Bulacan and the Batangas, it's the experience that they want playing against the Manila team. Alam naman natin, recruitment is different from, from the province to Manila. So yung first round talaga was just merely more on getting to know each other, learning the system, learning the opponent pero in the second round it was already the game na sinasabi natin na labasan na ng galing labasan na ng adjustment kaya naman on the second round yung mga play in teams kagaya ng Bula ng Batangas eh naka nagkapanalo ng dalawa Bulacan also had their chances pero yung mga importanteng games na miss out nila and they lost well the first 20 minutes to play, and I laro na po at uh, close itong ball game na ito. TIP very much in contention. Diliman, of course, they're out, but they're still fighting, and uh, of course, they want to be remembered as a team that won their last game. Dito sa inaugural season ng UCBL, 37-36 para sa TIP engineers, despite of the fact na wala nga ang kanilang head coach si Coach Potit De Vera, and right now. We turn you over to Nikki Viola. Yes, and syempre kasama ko naman ngayon si Joseph Brutas from uh, Diliman. At uh, eh, ngayon, uh, Joseph, uh, paano mo pag gustong maalala ang uh, Diliman dito sa first season ng ating uh, UCBL League? Uh, gusto ko mga Diliman na uh, tumatak sa mga kalaban namin na uh, isa kaming defense team. Kahit hindi masyado kami bata pa kami sa ligan to, pero lumalaban kami. Tama nga naman. Ano. So, ano sa tingin niyo ba ang uh, dapat niyong uh, i-improve, especially for the next season, para mas lalo pa nga lumakas ang inyong team? Yung offense namin. Then, 
konting defense pa para gumanda lalo ang aming laro. Alright, so uh, Joseph, maraming maraming salamat uh, for that. And Shepard, we'll see uh, more of him later on during our second half. Thank you and back to you guys. Hey, yeah, Paul, 37-36. There's more basketball action coming your way when we enter the second half in just a little while. Halftime, this is a ball game day too, and it's a close one, 37-36 for the TIP Engineers. Folks, you are watching UCBL, our time to shine. And of course, ang inyong kasama rito, Benji Santiago, kasama pa si Coach Bojing Akot. Looking ahead, lagi ko pinapatanong, yeah, ito nga ang ating final day ng eliminations, and TIP will take on Olivares already. Dilima, narinig natin si Joseph Frutas. They want to be remembered as the team. Eh, message pa nga sa other na mga nakalaban nila eh. Depends sa kami. Depends sa kami. Talagang ang premium is defense. Dahil usually nga sinasabi dyan, Coach, malas ka sa offense, pero walang malas pagka defense eh, di ba? I agree with you. Yan naman talagang lahat na tinuturo ng coaches. Magtipid ka na sa opensa, huwag lang sa depensa. Dahil lang depensa, pag tatamad-tamad ka, masusyutan at masusyutan ka. Yan naman talagang gusto talaga ng Diliman Blue Dragons to make an impact, a statement, a history that they are the fighting, uh, a fighting team, a never say die team with full of defense. Tingnan muna natin ang ilan sa mga magagandang sequence back in the first half. As we take a look at Paul Rosopa with this banking shot. Si Joseph Brutas naman, alam naman natin, kamador talaga ito para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. Si Jorey Napoles, considered to be the heart and soul of TIP Engineers doing his thing. And we are expecting to see him in a whole lot of action in the final four. Peter Cecilio, bago natapos ang ating uh, second quarter, made some headway with a nice offensive job. At ito mga numero natin, very important that happened in the first 20 minutes of play. A two-point field goal, no? 10 out of 24 for TIP Engineers and 5 out of 19 for the Blue Dragons. Sa three-point department, lamang dito ang Diliman Brood Dragons dahil sa, sa three-point shots ni Joseph Brutas, 7 out of 18. And for TIP Engineers, 4 out of 15. Rebounding, napakataas ng, ng rebounding ng TIP Engineers dahil na sa triple towers nila na si Aiki Akpuro, Dapoles, Pinas, and of course, Brian Santos, 30 rebounds for Engineers and 21 for the Blue Dragons. Assist. More sharing of the ball for the engineers with 10 and only 8 for the Blue Dragons. Yes, at syempre kailangan mabigyan ng atensyon at malaman ninyo ang updates sa mga scorers natin. Si uh, Paul Rosopa with 8-7 kay Napoles. Basically balanced scoring para sa TIP engineers. Playing well as a team. Joseph Brutas leading the way with 13 points. Si Romil Hornacion only with 5 Parang uh, naninibago sa kanyang pagbabalik. He did not see action the last time around para rito nga sa panig ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. There's still two quarters ahead dito sa ball game na ito. So uh, just stand by lang kayo sa aming pagbabalik. Second half action, UCBL, our time to shine. Simula na ng ating uh, second half of action here in the close one. Kagaya nga ng uh, napakita namin si Chris Oronco. Aba, okay. Uh. He wanted a dunk pero walang maidunk na bola. And he commits a turnover. Si Chris Oronco, iba rin ang kwento sa akin dito ni Coach Putit. Yung kanyang uh, pag-acquire dito si Chris Oronco. He played the first game. Para rito sa panig ng TIP sa UCBL. And then, yung mga sumunod na games doon, binangko niya ito si Chris Ocoronco. Nakakitaan niya na parang hindi malamia, even in practice, ganun. Eh, parang nasabi sa kanya ni Coach Puti. Alam mo naman si Coach Puti, all business din yan when it comes to coaching. At sabi niya rito kay Chris Ocoronco, eh, ano ba talaga gusto mong gawin? Kinausap siya ng gusto. 
ni uh, Coach Putit De Vera. He uh, explained to Chris Ocoronco his value. 6'10 ka, marami ka pa mararating, bata ka pa. You know, hindi ako makakapag-promise sa'yo after your stint sa pag-aaral nga sa TIP and after your stint sa yung basketball as member of the TIP engineers, hindi ka naman kasi pwedeng mag-pro. Diba? So, kinausap niya. After na pag-uusap na yun, remember that game, 7 minutes, 7 points para kay Chris Ocoronco. And then, lumapit sa kanya si Chris Ocoronco after that game. Tinignan siya ni Coach Putit Tibera. Tinanong siya, o oh, ano? Sabi ni Chris Ocoronco, Coach, I promise to do well. <laughs> Thank you. Dapat yung sinabi niya kagad, Thank you. Dahil sa tiwala na binigay sa kanya ni Coach Putit Tibera. Sometimes yun, you as a coach, no? gusto kong tanongin yan eh. Yung sinasabi natin, kasi may attitude problem yung bata ako eh. Uh, ganun, ganun. Ano, ba, ano ba yung sabi yung attitude problem? Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? No? Ano ba yung usual na nakikita ninyo? Basically, pag kasi sinabi mo ano eh, uh, attitude problem, there are times yung pagdating sa practice, hindi mo binibigay yung effort mo, relax ka lang, wala ka aggressiveness, or sa practices, hindi ka umaatid. Wala, marami kang rason. Maraming, maraming ano, reasons kung bakit ka nagkakaroon na tinatawag na attitude problem ka ng coaches. But at the end of the day, the coaches has to ano, discipline you. Pakita sa'yo na mas kailangan mag-adjust ka sa coach. Hindi kami coaches mag a sa sa'yo as a player. That's right. Ikaw yung pinakatatay. Di ba? mag a ka ba? Kung bali na ka, ang nakikita mo sa iyong anak. Tama ka, pero napakaganda dito ng adjustment ni Coach uh, Renzi Bahar. They are now leading with 4 points. Meron pang 2 free throws dito si Chris Tupuer Torado. Happy Toothpaste, Dr. Edward Sterilized Drinking Water by Euromed. I think sponsors for the UCBL. Ateto going for his second free throw. Uy, maalala ko nga pala yung uh, kanina kayo nang graduate mo. No? Ibalita natin muli dahil uh, kumbaga, representing the Philippines in international competition ng iyong Pinoy Youth Dreamers 16 under sa Malaysia. Oh, congratulations sa ating team Pilipinas sa 16 under na PYD. Winning against Singapore last night with a score of 102-72. Ngayon, pasalamat din tayo kay Mr. Alexander Balutan and Mr. Jose Corpus of Philippine Charity Sweepstakes. And of course, salamat din sa samahan basketball ng Pilipinas. Ilang teams ba ang kakompetensya dyan ng uh, Philippines? There are eight teams participating. In, there's India, Malaysia, Macau, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei, and Australia. Sino ba nakikita mo kung mga malalakas dyan? 16 under yan. Eh? Yung host team talaga, yung Malaysia. Siya yung pinaka-competing team. Uh, Pinaka-competitor ng Philippines. Parang sa Shiaba, sa SEA Games. It's always going to be Malaysia at saka Indonesia yung mahabog pagdating sa ating national basketball program. Very good, ha? Huh? So, a good start para sa ating uh, national team representing Team Philippines. Jensa uh, Kulik, Malaysia. 49-41 already here para sa Diliman. At si Joseph Brutas continues to pour in the points para sa Diliman. Ilan na ba ang kanyang contribution, Coach Bujing? Uh, Joseph Brutas has now 15 points and 2 rebounds, 2 assists and 3 steals. John L. Bauson, more scoring act for him para sa Diliman. Biglang nag-fifth gear ang depensa dito ng Blue Dragons. Na, kaya naman nagkaroon sila ng malaking lamang na with 8 points. With 10 points, correction. Pinakamalaki na yan in this ball game And Romil Hornasyon has been signaled by Coach Renzi Baha to get back into the thick of things. Si Chris Ocoronco, kanina pa naglalambitin sa ring. Okay lang, sana kung pumapasok yung ball eh. Yung aggressiveness ni Chris Ocoronco, kailangan mo yan. But he has to have more games, more learning experience against other teams, competing, competing team, para talagang makita natin yung pinaka-improvement niya. Now just in case, sila nga may poise to be to advantage, laban sa Olivares. And they're gonna be meeting, a lot of people are expecting that CEU Scorpions will uh, get the next... Uh, 
para makompleto yung ating finals, ano? Tama na. Eh, mabigat din yan. TIP, two tries. They have not been able to do the job laban sa CEU Scorpions. We'll talk about more of the scenarios of the future del next game date natin. Final four battle. Ayan, ayan, ayan ba? Nakamaroon na yan? Yan, yan yung nakamaroon? Oh, sa kaliwa? Tinuturo ni Joey eh. Oo. Oh. Ay! Oh. <laughs> sa kanan din. Nagulat sila eh, no? You're gonna be on TV. Huh? You are on TV actually right now. But we did this game earlier. At dito nga po sa Olivares College Coliseum sa Sukat Paranaque. Sa tingin ninyo, so many pretty faces dito sa UCBL. Eh, dadami pa yan pagdating natin ng Final Four Battle. HP Products by Advanced Solutions. Malama bulletin. Magagandang babae. Magagandang lalaki. Tayo yun. Na broadcasters. <laughs> Dapat i isasabit mo kagad yun sa una, hindi sa dulo. Again, eh, ladies first. Ladies first ang labanan dyan. Eh. Uh, diba? Bauson. 7 points, 4 rebounds. Coach Renzi Bahar. Kapag parang sinasabi, we know the formula on how to defeat TIP. Sabi niya, dapat kausapin ako ng Olivares. Kakwento ko ba naman lang si Coach Mike Sagigit? Eh si Coach Mike Sagigit naman kanina. Nakapanalo sila laban sa CEU. 65-63. Nagwagi pong Olivares. Yes, Olivares, the first team to beat CEU Scorpions in the great game by J. Boy Solis. Di ba? Magandang pagkapanalo yun ng Olivares. College. Madadala nila yung momentum, yung kanilang confidence level tataas. Go, coming into the final four of our UCBL. Well, who knows what's really going to happen this coming Thursday. And schedule natin dyan. TIP versus Olivares ang first game natin. And then ang CEU Scorpions will battle it out against Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. Again, CEU Scorpions with a twice to beat advantage after being number one at the end of the eliminations. And then number two naman ang TIP Engineers na kasakulo. Kuya na hinahabol ito sa pumputos na lamang ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. MJ Enriquez! Ayaw! Romil Hornacion is fouled. The opportunity for Romil Hornacion to go for a fast break. And napigilan yun ng, ta uh, ng players, ng TIP Engineers. You know, credit to Lara and Matignas. Torado, pero bad save. Napunta kay MJ Enriquez. An opportunity to bring down the lead. The 10-point lead of Diliman. Brian Santos from the outside. No? Last touch, Romil Hornacion on the rebound against... 6-10, Chris Oporongo. Roldan Pinas can shoot from the outside. See si Brian Santos, we have seen him done it also. Things na kailangan na uh, maobserbahan at mapag-aralan din ng uh, Olivares College. 17-6 to six run here in the third para sa Diliman. Torado. Cecilio Blanca kay Okoronko. MJ. Brian Santos. Matignas. No. Underneath. It's Brian Santos. Good pass by Matignas. Nandun sa ilalim si Brian Santos for that reverse layup. Approaching the final three minutes of the third quarter. Romil Hornasyon. How many times does he lead in scoring for the Diliman College Blue Dragons? 
Yes, si Chantal, merong report sa ano. What's that, Chantal? 40 IP na pag-usapan nila sa dugout na walang pagbabago sa game plan. Just execute the play, fill the position, pag mag-usok sa defense, and be personally accountable to their man. I ask assistant coach JB Salas kung bakit hindi niya ginagamit si Hardy Diego. And according to him, ito pala daw ay may sakit. Back to you guys. Ah, okay. So under the weather, nagbabago ang panahon. Medyo lumalamig na dahil nearing Christmas already. We have a timeout. Ayan. Yes! Anong titignan nila? Nandito naman kami. Kung saan-saan pa kayo tumitingin. Hindi, sumisilip sila yun sa widescreen. Ikaw naman. Ayan. Okay. See? At saka, eto, dapat maging ugali. Ugali na naman talaga ng Pilipino. That's why we are one of the happiest countries in the world. Everywhere they are, kahit nga may mga natural disasters, panakangiti pa rin ng Pilipino and they love to be seen on camera. Grabe, no? Ganyan sila. Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Kaya nga naman yung support na binibigay sa atin ng mga ating mga sponsors. Yes, nakakapangiti rin tayo. Todong iti, abot agang tenga. 54-45 here. Para sa panig pa rin ng Diliman. Two chances to score. Unproductive. And TIP Engineers playing without Harley Diego na may sakit. Pero nakabihis. Pero wag nang puwersahin. Peter Cecilio scoring his 13th points. Very persistent, very aggressive Peter Cecilio in this ball game. Kaka gusto niya back to back best player of the game honors. Pwede. MJ Enriquez missing the outside. Wala pang tres si MJ Enriquez in this game. Meron na ba? Parang wala kong matandaan eh. Wala pa. Dalawa pinukol niya. Wala na buslo. Samantala, sumubok si John L. Balson. Ano niya? Madulas yung bola. Tatlong beses na sumusubok si Jodel Bautson na hindi pa rin ta siya nakaka-shoot sa buong game na to sa three-point area. Approaching the final two minutes ng ating third quarter. 56-45 ito para sa Diliman. Ocoronco with another turnover. Yeah, nagkaroon ng turnover doon si Chris Ocoronco kasi hindi rin niya na-control yung bola. But you have to understand, nangyayari din yung ganung klaseng turnover dahil sa passer. Hindi maganda ang pagkakapasa ni Lara kay Chris Ocoronco. Kaya naman, no, nag-fumble si Chris Ocoronco at nagkaroon sila ng turnover. Ball the hands of John L. Balson. Mondala. Israel Ko. Pornasyon. Bang! Finally, Romil Hornasyon knocking another three-point shot. Yung unang three-point shot niya was way back in the first quarter. So, meron na siyang nine points. Foul on Bauson. One minute and 18 to play here in the third. Here in the third, play it for Romil Hornasyon with a three, his first in the game. Parang right now, he's beginning to feel it. It's like more to come because it's the third quarter palantaya. Again, he did not play the last time around. Arvin Angeles lines it up for the three. Power! We've seen him score in the last ga few games na na cover natin. He's not only a scorer, but he's also a defender. You know, Arvin Angeles contributing sa opensa ng Diliman Blue Dragons. Sabi to ang tuwa sila sa bench ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. After that basket by Arvin Angeles, take a look at this play, you know, para sa Diliman. Ngayon ko, may kuha tayo nung sa bench eh. After he hit that basket, nakita ko, alas nagugulpihan sila nung sa bench. Sa tuwa. Tuwan-tuwa eh, no? Kasi nga, malapit na yung Pasko. 28 days na lang, Christmas na. 38.7 seconds to play. Roldan Pinas, double-teamed. 
Okoronko with a basket and one. New three-point field goal natin, Benji. 10 out of 23 for the Blue Dragons. And for TIP Engineer, it is 4 out of 21. Kanina pa sa musubok. Patang pa nga. Gusto mangyari niyo, Okoronko. Pero this time around, he just made sure about that. Chris Okoronko has four points and nine rebounds. Last 25 seconds of the third. They steal Sir Oldan Pinas. Matigas. Can Lara Pinas with a teardrop. Ayao, Peter Cecilio, there's still time. Can he make the shot? Naago po, Pinas. Did that count? Magre review ng ating mga referees. Yeah, Basar beater jump shot by Pinyas. Hindi ko rin sigurado eh. Parang ang tingin ko pa nga not counted eh. Hinihingi pa nga ni Chris Okoronko yung ball eh. Pero tinira na ni Pinyas. Sabi ni, ni Okoronko, give me the ball, give me the ball. Eh tinira, pumasok. Nice shot! <laughs> eh titignan muna natin kung counted. Okay. This will be nice kung pumasok. At pag hindi, ayos lang. Good try. Diba? It's not Counted. Pero ang ating pa, technical group, sure ni review hindi, ating technical group has their own uh, version of a uh, video. So, nire-review nila kung pumasok talaga sa uh, sa oras yung huling tira doon ni uh, Pinyas. Nakantabay pa rin tayo rito, ano? It's taking some time. Might as well be sure. And nire-review yan ng ating technical director, uh, si Boss Bernard Young, at si Ariel Bermeo, supervisor. Kung counted. So, talaga naman. Too seriously, close. Seriously, Too seriously. close to call. Oo, oh, talagang pinanunood. Nire-review. Paulit-ulit. Tinitingnan kung counted yung tira ni Pinyas o hindi. Nevertheless, napakaganda ng start ng third quarter dito ng Blue Dragons. Scoring 26 points and only 11 for the TIP engineers. So, bumulusok ang opensa dito ng Blue Dragons, Benji, sa third quarter. Not counted. Took some time. Sabi ko nga, mas mabuti na yung sigurado. 62-48 pa rin tayo rito at the end of the third. This is the fourth and final quarter. Remember, we started this ball game. Na ang kinikwento namin sa inyo, Diliman College beating TIP in the first round. This is for them the second meeting. Look at Blue Dragons. Explosive in the third. 26-11. Outscoring the TIP engineers. Ayan, sinimula na naman ni Joseph Brutas ang kanilang opensa sa Blue Dragons. Meron na siyang 18 points dahil sa another 3-point shot. Matignas going to Okoronko. Ken Lara shoots the three. It's offline. Tapit. Umulik kay Ken Lara. Ken Lara naipit sa ilalim. Ball goes out. 12 seconds. No, make that 14. At mukhang may foul na itinawag kay Miko Tai. Una pa lamang ni Miko Tai. Alam mo Benji, uh, down dito ang, ang TIP engineers because one of uh, the player of TIP engineers, Harley Jeco, is sick. So ibig sabihin nun yung scoring pa lang nila. Eh, nawala na kagad dyan yung mga 14 to 15 points kada ball game. Tama. Brian Santos inside to Chris Okoronko. Oh, yun ang problema dun eh. Nakatalikod siya sa board. Nandun sa ibabaw ang shot clock. Hindi niya na nakikita. Kahit na 6-10 yan. Na double team. Good double teaming effort by Blue Dragons against uh, the 6-10 Chris Okoronko. Yung reaction ni uh, assistant coach uh, Jamie Salis eh. Ano? Sayang. Ano eh, speechless siya eh.
Pero nagbago yung rotation dito ni Coach JB Sales after the first half. Nag-decide siya i-limit yung playing time dito ni Jorey Napoles, Aiki Akpuro, and Paul Rosopa. And remember, itong si Harley Jago nga. Hindi pa pinaglaro dito. This, probably they're already prepared for uh, for the game on Thursday on the Final Four. So, syempre gusto ni Coach JB maging healthy. Maging healthy ang players nila. You know you wanted to win the game. But at the end of the day, you want your st your starting five, your star players to be healthy. You know, wala na magkaroon ng injury papasok sa Final Four. One thing that's also going to be considered by CEU Scorpions huh? in their uh, battle laban sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. They lost kanina sa Olivares. I can only imagine yung effect nun, eh, yung loss na yun ng CEU Scorpions. Yung talo ng CEU Scorpions, babalikan yun ng, ng ni Coach John Garcia. Kung saan siya nagkamali, kung saan nagkaproblema. Pero at the end of the day, yung kanyang rotation is different from the usual rotation na ginamit niya against Olivares. Pero si Coach Bonnie Garcia, sigurado ko re-reviewin at panunurin niya ang game. Kung paano ba nag nagkaroon ng advantage ang Olivares sa road game niya. Oo, tama doon. Dahil it's not only that. Nakita natin kanina ang ginagawa nga ng CEU. Eh, Di ba sabi ko nga parang batch per batch ang pasok ng mga tao rito. Eh. Meron ka group 1 na nag-start. And then, unti-unti, may papasok na yung group 2. Talagang all the way down to group 3. Para diba? platoon Pero, substitution na nangyari, no? Kanyang kanya kanyang grupo yan, eh, di ba? Pero they want to, he wanted to, that everybody's going to be in the same page. Na pare-pareho yung level of play na makukuha kahit na sino ang punutin mo sa bench. Ganun din tinitingnan dito, most probably, ng uh, other teams like itong TIP. They're going to be, lalo na, meron pa naman tayo 7 minutes and 23, but down by 15, just keep on trying. Pag bumaba pa ito, ay yung oras, at hindi pa gaano nababawasan din yung lamang rito ng diliman, most probably TIP could just forget about it and really put their concentration sa kanilang laban naman against Olivares this coming Thursday. They're going to be the first game ha, sa ating uh, semifinals, sa ating final four on Thursday. Dito pa rin po yan, ha, sa... Olivares College Coliseum. And one thing that the IP also has to consider here is that, siyempre, teritoryo ng Olivares at the venue, the student body, diba? Ang supporters, baka kaklase lang pagdating ng Final Four, kasama na kamag-anak, diba? Sigurado yan. Talagang magiging jump pack itong uh, Coliseum ng Olivares sa Final Four. Well, yun ang mga iisipin din ng TIP. Those are factors. Hindi man papasok yun sa coaching, pero makikita mo yung effect na yun, eh, di ba? So But, you gotta have a solid game plan. Mararamdaman yun ng players. Kasi hindi meron tayong tinatawag na, di ba, six man. So sila yung magbibigay ng uh, energy sa players ng Olivares. Happy toothpaste, Dr. Edward Sterilized Drinking Water by Eurobid. Kanina nga, nag-uumpisa na yun eh. Eh, dikdikan pa naman yung laro ng Olivares at CEU. Pagka bola na lang uh, CEU, na rinig natin yung mga estudyante ng Olivares eh. Yan yung sinisigaw, di ba? G-Bench! G-Bench! Ano yung G-Bench? Benji! Ah, G-Bench! <laughs> Galing, na-i-lay up mo pa yun. Samantalang si Joseph Brutas, meron na dito 20 points and 3 rebounds, 2 assists and 4 steals. Grabe si G. Bench ng Olivares. Hindi, <laughs> Quezon City ako eh. Hindi ba Jingbu? <laughs> Pwede rin eh. Oh, Jingbu. Pero mas, ano eh, mas malapit yun eh sa defense. <laughs> ah, G. Bench. 6 minutes and 15 HP Products by Advanced Solutions Manila Bulletin Our about sponsors dito pa sa UCBL Miko Tai Joseph Brutas Cecilio nawala yung bola sa end line Nawala ng spasyo si Peter Cecilio dahil hinatid 
kay Chris Ocoronco para dumipensa. Wala naman talaga makikita ang bintana si Peter Cecilio dahil nasa ilalim na siya. Nandun pa si Chris Ocoronco. Matignas. Linen shot won't go for Brian Santos. Torado. Cecilio foul by MJ Enriquez. It was a good fast break play by Chris Tuper Torado making that extra pass to Peter Cecilio. Made two free throws dito si Peter Cecilio. 69-52, Diliman College still with the lead. The timeout has been called. UCBL, our time to shine. Balikan po natin ang aksyon at si Peter Cecilio, titira ng dalawang free throws. Off the air, tinanong ko dahil ang leading assist man nga ito si Chris Torado pero meron lamang siyang apat na assist. Cafe, Cran oh, Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Sponsors natin para dito sa UCBL. Big numbers being put up here by Peter Cecilio pero hindi pumasok yung kanyang dalawang free throws. 69-52. Five and a half remaining in this game. Ocoronco, double team. Matignas with a left-handed layup. Nadukot pa yon ni Matignas with his left hand. Ang ganda na ng depensa ng Blue Dragons pero nakagawa pa ng paraan si Matignas. The last five minutes of this ball game. Looking good at Diliman College Blue Dragons. Brutas missing the three. Mondala with a pass but Mikotay is blocked. That's the second block of uh, Chris Okoronko against Miko Tai. Si Okoronko naman na foul ni Miko Tai. Apat ng team fouls sa Diliman. Brian Santos, bola na tapik palabas si Mondala. Hindi pa pala lumabas yun. Nakaagaw tuloy si Mondala. Mondala to Brutas. Bothered. By the presence of Ocoronco, oh, 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 oh. kaya kailangan a little fall away for Joseph Brutas. Good body balance by uh, Joseph Brutas against Chris Ocoronco. Meron na siya dito 22 points. And he, he was the one who, play, who played tough defense against MJ oh, Enriquez. Oh, oh, oh. Kaya nagkaroon ng cross-court pass. Namunti ka na mag-turnover ang TIP engineers. 17-point lead para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. 18-2. Well, something has to give. Meron sila kanya-kanyang purpose coming into this ball game. Diliman College, this is their last game for the inaugural season of the UCBL. An offensive foul was called on Chris Ocoronco. Ang ganda pa naman ang pinakikita dito ni Chris Ocoronco. He has 7 points and 12 rebounds. Seventy-one fifty-four. Brutas for three at short. MJ Enriquez. Clock down seven. Mondala missing the jump hook. They almost got it back. Sapang ulit ito si Chris Torado. MJ Enriquez, four three. Bang! That's the first three point shot of MJ Enriquez. He has now five points. Five lang, ano? Very unorthodox. Ali, you play the backfire in Palasa Diliman College. 
Wala na tatlong minuto. Ken Lara, nagkakabol ang PIP. Matignas has stated for the three. Pinas, no hesitation but overshooting. At si Cristorado, ayusin natin ito. Labang tayo. Punta mo na natin si Nikki Viola. Na makikita na kanina sa Hada na satisfied na nga si Coach Friends sa ipinapakit ng performance ng kanyang team. Pero gusto pa niya na mas may puso and attitude ang kanyang mga alaga sa kanilang laro. He encourages his team to believe in themselves dahil niwala siya na kaya, nila, kaya nilang tagulunin ang kanilang kalaban ngayon. Back to you guys. 2 minutes and 27 remaining. Tres di Torado. Just falls short. And Jay Enriquez, pinali pag yung press. Gusto, gusto ka agad ni MJ Enriquez magkaroon ng impact sa, sa last quarter nito kasi nga kanina pa siya malas. Kaya nga meron na siyang 5 points na nakontribute dito sa ball game. Romilor Nation make, missing his turnaround basket. MJ Enriquez Manipis making that. Manipis na yung oras, ha? There was a scramble for the ball between Torado and Pinas. Ang nanalo doon si Torado at nagkaroon pa ng foul si Pinas. Timeout muna, 71-59. Pwede pa ba? 95 seconds to play. UCBL, alamin ng susunod na kabanata. Magkatabi na sila, nagtitext pa sila. Kita mo nga naman yun. Ano? <laughs> Sumisigaw yung crowd eh. No? Sweet! <laughs> Maganda, nagre-react ka. Oo, oh, nagre-react. Wow! Ito, meron na naman execution ng Blue Dragons and their single-double play. A curl by Romil Hornacion and a penetration. Two points for Romil Hornacion increases the lead of the Liman Blue Dragons to 73-59. Brian Santos taking the three-point shot. He's been missing a lot in the three-point three point area. You know, with this time remaining in the double-digit lead, the Babalasa will be okay kahit papano, pero this is still a double-digit lead para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. So it's safe to say, hindi nakabawi ang TIP. So siguro, tatalogin mo rin ang TIP. Under the circumstances, naunahan na sila and things like yung usual na pumapasok para sa kanila hindi nangyayari ngayon siguro sabihin na nila might as well malas na kami ngayon wag lang dun sa susunod na mas importanteng game namin di ba? tama sa third quarter dun talaga nagkamalas-malas ang TIP engineers dahil meron lang silang 11 points in that quarter samantalang ang Blue Dragons ay eh, humataw naman talaga bumulusok with 26 points sa third quarter Hornasyon falls short, shot clock violation, but 73-61 with only 21.2 seconds remaining. Coach Renzi Bahar and Diliman College Blue Dragons doing a repeat against TIP. So TIP somehow, masasabi lang natin dito, or pwedeng yun nga ang sitwasyon. They never solve a problem named Diliman College Blue Dragons. With the win of uh, Diliman Blue Blue Dragons, magiging number five sila yun, sa bayon. standing instead of you know number six. Dahil nga sa kinalo nila ang Bulacan State University, so it was a good job for the Blue Dragons. The mga players, the coach Renzi Bahar, magandang pagkakabawe, magandang winning note to end the UCBL tournament of the Blue Dragons.
73-61, Diliman College, Blue Dragons. And basically, a good game. What a way to end their campaign. But still coming up with a win, that's always a nice thing. DIP Engineers, we will be seeing them in the final four. This is not the end of the story or end of the line for them. Kasama ngayon ni Nikki Viola, ang ating best player of the game. Yes, kasama ko ulit dito ngayon si Joseph Bruna. So, uh, Joseph, ayan, congratulations. And you finished the first season of UCBL strong with your team. So, uh, yung medyo bragging rights ito ngayon na pangalawang beses nyo nang natalo ang TIP. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin nito para sa inyo? Uh... Sabi na sa amin ni Coach na huwag kami magpapabaya lagi pag every may makakalaban kami. Kahit tinalo kami, kailangan namin bumawi talaga. Kahit yung TIP, tinalo namin, kailangan para di namin sila pabawiin sa game na to. Okay, so ngayon, uh, wild guess lang. Sino ba sa tingin mo ang uh, magme-meet sa finals ng UCBL for this season? CEU TIP. CEU TIP. Diretso ang sagot ni Joseph. Pero once again, thank you so much. At dahil dyan, syempre, meron kang special gift certificate from Cafe France. So may pang-date ka na. Ayan, may, ulit, may ba kami mga gusto kong batiin? Uh, binabati ka yung family ko, yung mga friend ko sa, sa amin, sa Navaliches. Mga tita ko, uh, yung mga friend, especially kayo sa best friend ko. Okay, best friend. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Joseph, and congratulations. So back to you guys. Yun na tawagan ngayon. Best! <laughs> Again, a final four natin. The cast is complete. CEU Scorpions will take on Coleo de San Lorenzo Griffins. Twice to beat ang CEU. Sa kabilang banda naman ang TIP Engineers. Laban sa number three na Olivara Sea Lions. Twice to beat naman ang TIP. All these are happening this coming December 1st. Kita nyo nga naman, Desyembre na. Ang first game natin, TIP versus Olivares CEU against CDSL. Dito pa rin po yan sa Olivares College. Dito po sa Sukat Paranaque. And once again, thank you very much. The eliminations has finally ended. The battle has ended, but the war is just about to start. Sa ngalan po ng ating mga kasama, Chantal Arboleda, Nikki Viola, Coach Bujing Akot, Benji Santiago here. Thank you for watching UCBL. Our time to shine. We'll see you at the ball games. Who knows what's really going to happen this coming Thursday? Schedule natin dyan, TIP versus Olivares ang first game natin. And then ang CEU Scorpions will battle it out against Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. Again, CEU Scorpions with a twice to beat advantage after being number one at the end of the eliminations. And then number two naman ang TIP Engineers na kasaklukuyan ay hinahabol. Ito sa pumputos na lamang ng Diliman College Blue Dragons. MJ Enriquez! Ayaw! Romil Hornacion is fouled. The opportunity for Romil Hornacion to go for a fast break. And napigilan nyo ng players at TIP Engineers. You know, credit to Lara and Matignas. Torado, pero bad save. Napunta kay MJ Enriquez. An opportunity to bring down the lead. The 10-point lead of Diliman. Brian Santos from the outside. Nope. Last touch, Romil Hernacion on the rebound against... 6-10, Chris Oporongo. Roldan Pinas can shoot from the outside. Si Brian Santos, we have seen him done it also. Things na kailangan na uh, maobserbahan at mapag-aralan din ng uh, Olivares College. 17-6 to six run here in the third para sa Diliman. Torrado. Cecilio Blanca kay Okoronko. MJ. Brian Santos. Matignas. No. Oh. 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 Oh.
Brian Santos. Good pass by Matignas. Nandun sa ilalim si Brian Santos for that reverse layup. Approaching the final three minutes ng ating third quarter. Romil Hornasyon. How many times does Shan nag lead sa scoring para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons? Yes, si Chantal, merong report sa atin. What's that, Chantal? For DIP, napag-usapan nila sa dugout na walang pagbabago sa game plan. Just execute the play, fill the position, mag-usok sa defense, and be personally accountable to their man. I ask assistant coach JB Salas kung bakit hindi niya ginagamit si Hardy Diego. And according to him, ito pala daw ay may sakit. Back to you guys. Ah, okay. So under the weather, nagbabago ang panahon. Medyo lumalamig na dahil nearing Christmas already. We have a timeout. Ayan. Yes! Anong titignan nila? Nandito naman kami. Kung saan-saan pa kayo tumitingin. Hindi, <laughs> sumisilip sila yun sa widescreen. No? Ikaw naman, no? Yeah. Okay. See? At saka, eto, dapat maging ugali. Ugali na naman talaga ng Pilipino. That's why we are one of the happiest countries in the world. Ha? Everywhere they are, kahit nga may mga natural disasters, panakangiti pa rin ng Pilipino and they love to be seen on camera. Grabe, no? Ganyan sila. Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Kaya nga naman yung supporta na binibigay sa atin ng ating mga sponsors. Yes, nakakapangiti rin tayo. Todong iti, abot agang tenga. 54-45 here. Para sa panig pa rin ng Diliman. Two chances to score. Unproductive. And TIP engineers playing without Harley Diego na may sakit. Pero nakabihis. Pero nakabihis sa hin. Peter Cecilio scoring his 13 points. Very persistent, very aggressive Peter Cecilio in this ball game. Baka gusto niya back-to-back -back best player of the game uh, honors. Pwede. MJ Enriquez missing the outside. Wala pang tres si MJ Enriquez in this game. Meron na ba? Parang wala kang matandaan eh. Wala pa. Dalawa pinukol niya. Wala na buslo. Samantala, sumubok si John L. Paulson. Ano niya? Madulas yung bola. Tatlong beses na sumusubok si Jodel Bautson ay hindi pa rin ta siya nakaka-shoot sa buong game na to sa three-point area. Approaching the final two minutes ng ating third quarter. 56-45 ito para sa Diliman. Okoronko with another turnover. Yeah, nagkaroon ng turnover doon si Chris Okoronko kasi hindi rin niya na-control yung bola. But you have to understand, nangyayari din yung ganung klaseng turnover dahil sa passer. Hindi maganda ang pagkakapasa ni Lara kay Chris Okoronko. Kaya naman, no, nag-fumble si Chris Okoronko, nagkaroon sila ng turnover. All the hands of John L. Bauson. Mondala. Israel Ko. Ornasyon. Bang! Finally, Romil Ornasyon knocking another three-point shot. Yung unang three-point shot niya was way back in the first quarter. So, meron na siyang nine points. Foul on Bauson. One minute and 18 to play here in the third. Tinan natin ito. Play na ito. Romil Hornasyon with a three. His first in the game. Parabang right now, he's beginning to feel it. It's like more to come because nasa third quarter pa lang tayo. Again, he did not play the last time around. Arvin Angeles lines it up for the three. Power! We've seen him score in the last ga few games that na na cover natin. He's not only a scorer, but he's also a defender. You know, Arvin Angeles contributing to the offense of Diliman Blue Dragons. They're a bit too much on the bench of Diliman College Blue Dragons. After that basket by Arvin Angeles, take a look at this play, you know, for Diliman. 
Ngayon po, may kuha tayo nung sa bench eh. After he hit that basket, nakita ko alas nagugulpihan sila nung sa bench eh. <laughs> sa tuwa. <laughs> Tuwan-tuwa eh, no? Kasi nga, malapit na yung Pasko. 28 days na lang, Christmas na. 38.7 seconds to play. Roldan Pinas, double teamed. A Coronco with a basket and one. New three point field goal, not in Benji. 10 out of 23 for the Blue Dragons. And for TIP Engineers, it's 4 out of 21. Kanina pa sa Musubo, patang pangang gusto mangyari niyo, Coronco. Pero this time around, he just made sure about that. Chris Coronco has 4 points. And nine rebounds. Last 25 seconds of the third. They steal Sir Aldan Pinas. Matignas. Can Lara Pinas with a teardrop. Ayo, oh, Peter Cecilio, there's still time. Can he make the shot? Na Aldo Popin, yes. Did that count? Magri review ng ating mga referees. Yeah, Basar Peter, jump shot by Pinyas. Hindi ko rin sigurato eh. Parang ang tingin ko pa nga, not counted eh. Hinihingi pa nga ni Chris Ocoronco yung ball eh. Pero tinira na ni Pinyas. Sabi ni, ni Ocoronco, give me the ball, give me the ball. Eh tinira, pumasok. Nice shot! <laughs> Eh, titignan muna natin kung counted. Uh, this will be nice kung pumasok. Pag hindi, ayos lang. Good try. Diba? It's not counted. Pero ang hindi ating ba? technical group, sure nire-review. Hindi, ating technical group has their own uh, version of a uh, video. So, nire-review nila kung pumasok talaga sa uh, sa oras yung huling tira doon ni uh, Pinyas. Nakatabay pa rin tayo rito, ano? It's taking some time. Might as well be sure. And we review yan ng ating technical director, uh, si Boss Bernard Young, at si Ariel Bermeo, supervisor. Kung counted. So, talaga namang... Too seriously, close. Seriously, Too close to call. Oh, nang talagang pinanunood. Nire-review. Paulit-ulit. Tinitignan kung counted yung tira ni Pinyas o hindi. Nevertheless, napakaganda ng start ng third quarter dito ng Blue Dragons. Scoring 26 points and only 11 for the TIP engineers. So, bumulusok ang opensa dito ng Blue Dragons, Benji, sa third quarter. Not counted. Took some time. Sabi ko nga, mas mabuti na yung sigurado. 62-48 pa rin tayo rito at the end of the third. Alright, this is the fourth and final quarter. Remember, we started this ball game. Na ang kinikwento namin sa inyo, Diliman College beating TIP in the first round. This is for them the second meeting. Look at Blue Dragons. Explosive in the third. 26-11. Outscoring the TIP engineers. Ayan, sinimula na naman ni Joseph Brutas ang kanilang opensa sa Blue Dragons. Meron na siyang 18 points dahil sa another 3-point shot. Matignas going to Okoronko. Ken Lara shoots the 3. It's offline. Tapit. Umulik kay Ken Lara. Ken Lara naipit sa ilalim. Ball goes out 12 seconds. No, make that 14. At baka may foul eh. Tinawag kay Miko Tai. Una pa lamang ni Miko Tai. Alam mo Benji, uh, down dito ang, ang TIP Engineers because one of uh, the player of TIP Engineers, Harley Jekyll, is sick. So ibig sabihin nun, yung scoring pa lang nila, eh, nawala na kaagad dyan yung mga 14 to 15 points kada ball game. Tama. 
Brian Santos inside to Chris Ocoronco. Oh, yun ang problema dun eh. Nakatalikod siya sa board. Nandun sa ibabaw ang shot clock. Hindi niya nakikita kahit na 6-10 yan. Na double team. Good double teaming effort by Blue Dragons against uh, the 6-10 Chris Ocoronco. Yung reaction ni uh, assistant coach uh, Jamie Salas eh. Ano? Sayang. Ano eh, speechless siya eh. Pero nagbago yung rotation dito ni Coach J.B. Salas after the first half. Nag-decide siya ilimit yung playing time dito ni Jore Napoles, Aiki Akpuro, and Paul Rosopa. And remember, itong si Harley Jago nga. Hindi pa pinaglaro dito. This, probably they're already preparing for, uh, for the game on Thursday on the Final Four. So, syempre gusto ni Coach J.B. Maging healthy healthy and players nila. You know you wanted to win the game. But at the end of the day, you want your st your starting five, your star players to be healthy. You know, wala na magkaroon ng injury. Papasok sa Final Four. One thing that's also going to be considered by CEU Scorpions huh? in their uh, battle laban sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. They lost kanina sa Olivares. I can only imagine the effect of that eh? loss of the CEU Scorpions. The loss of the CEU Scorpions will be the loss of Coach John Garcia. Where he is wrong, where he is wrong, where he is wrong. But at the end of the day, his rotation is different from the usual rotation that he used against Olivares. But si Coach Bonnie Garcia, I'm sure he will be reviewing and watching the game. Kung paano ba nag nagkaroon ng advantage ang Olivares sa bawat oh, game niya? Oo, tama ka it's not only that. Nakita natin kanina ang ginagawa nga ng CEU. Di ba sabi ko nga parang batch per batch ang pasok ng mga tao rito. Meron ka group 1 na nag-start. And then, unti-unti, may papasok na yung group 2. Talagang all the way down to group 3. Parang diba? platoon eh. substitution na nangyari, no? May mitin na kanyang grupo yan, eh, di ba? Pero they want to... He wanted to that everybody's going to be in the same page. Na pare-pareho yung level of play na makukuha kahit na sino ang bunutin mo sa bench. Ganun din tinitingnan dito, most probably, ng uh, other teams like itong TIP. They're gonna be, lalo na, meron pa naman tayo 7 minutes and 23, but down by 15, just keep on trying. Pag bumaba pa ito, na yung oras at hindi pa gaano nababawasan din yung lamang rito ng diliman most probably TIP could just forget about it and really put their concentration sa kanilang laban naman against Olivares this coming Thursday they're gonna be the first game ha, sa ating uh, semifinal sa ating final four on Thursday dito pa rin po yan ha, sa Olivares College Coliseum and one thing that TIP also has to consider here is that syempre teritoryo ng Olivares sa ating venue. The student body, di ba? Ang supporters, baka kaklase lang pagdating ng Final Four kasama ng kamag-anak, di ba? Sigurado yan. Talagang magiging champak itong uh, Coliseum ng Olivares sa Final Four. So, yun ang mga iisipin din ng TIP. Those are factors. Hindi man papasok yun sa coaching, pero makikita mo yung effect na yun, eh, di ba? So, you gotta have a solid game plan mararamdaman yun ng players kasi hindi meron tayong tinatawag na diba six man so sila yung magbibigay ng uh, energy sa players ng Olivares Happy Toothpaste Dr. Edward Sterilized Drinking Water by Eurobid kanina nga nag-uumpisa na yun eh e dikdikan pa naman yung laro ng Olivares tsaka CEU pagka bola na lang uh, CEU na rinig natin yung mga Estudyante ng Olivares eh. Yan yung sinisigaw, di ba? G-Bench! G-Bench! Ano yung G-Bench? Benji! Ah, G-Bench! <laughs> Galing, nai-lay up mo pa yun. Samantalang si Joseph Brutas, meron na dito 20 points and 3 rebounds, 2 assists and 4 steals. Grabe si G-Bench ng Olivares. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> kaysa ng city ako eh. <laughs> Hindi ba Jingbu? <laughs> Pwede rin, eh. Oh, Jimbo! Eh, oh, eh, mas, oh, ano, eh, mas malapit yun eh sa defense. Ah, uh, G-Bench. 
Six minutes and 15. HP Products by Advanced Solutions. Manila Bulletin. Our of our sponsors, Tito pa sa UCBL. Miko Tai. Joseph Brutas. Cecilio, nawala yung bola sa end line. Nawala ng spasyo si Peter Cecilio dahil hinatid kay Chris Ocoronco para dumipensa. Wala naman talaga makikita ang bintana si Peter Cecilio dahil nasa ilalim na siya. Nandun pa si Chris Ocoronco. Matignas. Lean in shot won't go for Brian Santos. Dorado, Cecilia fouled by MJ Enriquez. It was a good fast break play by Chris Tuper Torado making that extra pass to Peter Cecilio. Me two free throws dito si Peter Cecilio. 69-52, Diliman College still with the lead. The timeout has been called. UCBL, our time to shine. Balikan po natin ang aksyon at si Peter Cecilio titira ng dalawang free throws. Off the air, tinanong ko dahil ang leading assist man nga ito si Chris Torado pero meron lamang siyang apat na assist. Cafe, Cran oh, Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Sponsors natin para dito sa UCBL. Big numbers being put up here by Peter Cecilio pero hindi pumasok yung kanyang dalawang free throws. 69-52. Five and a half remaining in this game. Pocoronco, double team. Matignas with a left-handed layup. Nadukot pa yon ni Matignas with his left hand. Ang ganda na ng depensa ng Blue Dragons pero nakagawa pa ng paraan si Matignas. The last five minutes of this ball game. Looking good at Diliman College Blue Dragons. Brutas missing the three. Mondala with a pass, but Mikotai is blocked. That's the second block of uh, Chris Okoronko against Mikotai. Si Okoronko naman ang foul ni Mikotai. Apat ng team fouls sa Diliman. Brian Santos, bola na tapik palabas si Mondala. Hindi pa pala lumabas yun. Nakaagaw tuloy si Mondala. Mondala to Brutas. Bothered by the presence of Okoronko. Kaya kailangan a little fall away for Joseph Brutas. Good body balance by uh, Joseph Brutas against Chris Okoronko. Meron na siya dito 22 points. And he, he was the one who, play, who played tough defense against MJ Enriquez. Kaya nagkaroon ng cross-court pass. Namunti ka na mag-turnover ang TIP Engineers. 17-point lead para sa Diliman College Blue Dragons. Well, something has to give. Meron sila kanya-kanyang purpose coming into this ball game. Diliman College, this is their last game for the inaugural season of the UCBL. An offensive foul was called on Chris Okoronko. Ang ganda pa naman ang pinakikita dito ni Chris Okoronko. He has 7 points and 12 rebounds. Seventy-one fifty-four. Brutas for three at short. MJ Enriquez. Shot clock down seven. 
Mondala missing the jump hook. They almost got it back sa pangungulit nito si Chris Torado. MJ Enriquez, 4-3! Bang! MJ Enriquez, 3! That's the first three-point shot of MJ Enriquez. He has now five points. Five lang, ano? Very unorthodox. Ali, you play the backfire in Parasa Diliman College. Wala na tatlong minuto. Ken Lara, nagkakabuhal ang PIP. Matignas hesitated for the three. Pinas, no hesitation but overshooting. At si Cristo Rado, ayusin natin dito. Lamang tayo. Punta mo na natin si Nikki Viola. May makikita na kanina sa Hada na satisfied na nga si Coach Frenz sa ipinapakita performance ng kanyang team. Pero gusto pa niya na mas may puso and attitude ang kanyang mga alaga sa kanilang laro. He encourages his team to believe in themselves dahil niwala siya na kaya, nila, kaya nilang tagulunin ang kanilang kalaban ngayon. Back to you guys. Two minutes and 27 remaining. Tres di Torado. Just falls short. MJ Enriquez, pinalipag yung press. Gusto, gusto ka agad ni MJ Enriquez magkaroon ng impact sa, sa last quarter nito kasi nga kanina pa siya malas. Kaya nga meron na siyang 5 points na nakontribute dito sa ball game. Romilor na Sean make, missing his turnaround basket. MJ Enriquez Manipis making that. Manipis na oras, ha? There was a scramble for the ball between Torado and Pinas. Ang nanalo doon si Torado at nagkaroon pa ng foul si Pinas. Time out muna, 71-59. Pwede pa ba? 95 seconds to play. UCBL, alamin ng susunod na kabanata. Magkatabi na sila, nagtitext pa sila. Kita mo nga naman yun. Ano? <laughs> Saan masigaw yung crowd eh? No? Sweet! <laughs> Okay, no, nagre-react ka. <laughs> Oo, oh, nagre-react. Wow! Ito, meron na naman execution ng Blue Dragons and their single-double play. A curl by Romil Hornacion and a penetration. Two points for Romil Hornacion increases the lead of the Liman Blue Dragons to 73-59. Brian Santos taking the three-point shot. He's been missing a lot in the three-point three area. You know, with this time remaining and the double-digit lead, but this is still a double-digit lead for the Diliman College Blue Dragons. Is it safe to say, hindi nakabawi ang TIP? Well, siguro, tatanungin mo rin ang TIP. Under the circumstances, naunahan na sila. And things like yung usual na pumapasok para sa kanila, hindi nangyayari ngayon. Siguro sabihin na nila, might as well malas na kami ngayon. Huwag lang dun sa susunod na mas importanteng game namin, di ba? Tama. Sa third quarter, dun talaga nagkamalas-malas ang TIP engineers dahil meron lang silang 11 points in that quarter. Samantalang ang Blue Dragons ay eh, umataw naman talaga. Bumulusok with 26 points sa third quarter. Hornasyon falls short, shot clock violation, but 73-61 with only 21.2 seconds remaining. Coach Renzi Bahar and Diliman College Blue Dragons doing a repeat against TIP. So TIP somehow, masasabi lang natin dito, or pwedeng yun nga ang sitwasyon. They never solve a problem named Diliman College Blue Dragons. With the win of uh, Diliman Blue Blue Dragons, magiging number five sila yun sa standing yun. instead of you know number six. Dahil nga sa kinalo nila ang Bulacan State, 
University. So it was a good job for the Blue Dragons, the mga players, the coach Renzi Bahar. Magandang patakabawi, magandang winning note to end the UCBL tournament of the Blue Dragons. 73-61, Diliman College Blue Dragons. And basically, a good game. What a way to end their campaign. But still coming up with a win, that's always a nice thing. TIP Engineers, we will be seeing them in the final four. This is not the end of the story or end of the line for them. Kasama ngayon ni Nikki Viola, ang ating best player of the game. Yes, kasama ko ulit dito ngayon si Joseph Bruna. So, uh, Joseph, uh, congratulations. And you finished the first season of UCBL strong with your team. Uh, so, uh, yung medyo bragging rights ito ngayon na pangalawang beses niyo nang natalo ang uh, TIP. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin nito para sa inyo? Uh... Sabi na sa amin ni Coach na huwag kami magpapabaya lagi pag every may makakalaban kami. Kahit tinalo kami, kailangan namin bumawi talaga. Kahit yung TIP, tinalo namin, kailangan para hindi namin sila pabawiin sa game na to. Okay, so ngayon, uh, wild guess lang. Sino ba sa tingin mo ang uh, magme-meet sa finals ng UCBL for this season? CEU TIP. Ito. CEU TIP. Diretso ang sagot ni Joseph. Pero once again, thank you so much. At dahil dyan, syempre, meron kang special gift certificate from Cafe France. So may pang-date ka na. And may, oh, let me ba kami mga gusto kong batiin? Uh, binabati ko yung family ko, yung mga friend ko sa, sa amin, sa Navaliches. Mga tita ko, uh, yung mga friend ko especially kayo sa best friend ko. Okay, best friend. Okay, thank you so much. And Joseph, and congratulations. So back to you guys. Yun na tawagin ngayon. Best! <laughs> Again, ang final four natin. The cast is complete. CEU Scorpions will take on Coleo de San Lorenzo Griffins. Twice to beat ang CEU. Sa kabilang banda naman ang TIP Engineers. Laban sa number three na Olivares Sea Lions. Twice to beat naman ang TIP. All these are happening this coming December 1st. Kita nyo nga naman, Desyembre na. Ang first game natin, TIP versus Olivares CEU against CDSL. Dito pa rin po yan sa Olivares College. Dito po sa Sukat Paranaque. And once again, thank you very much. The eliminations has finally ended. The battle has ended, but the war is just about to start. Sangalan po ng ating mga kasama, Chantal Arboleda, Nikki Viola, Coach Bujingako, Benji Santiago here. Thank you for watching UCBL. Our time to shine. We'll see you at the ball games. Naman ang TIP Engineers Laban sa number 3 na Olivares C. Lions Twice to beat naman ang TIP All these are happening This coming December 1st Kita nyo nga naman Desyembre na Ang first game natin TIP versus Olivares CEU Against CDSL Dito pa rin po yan sa Olivares College Dito po sa Sukat Paranaque And once again thank you very much The eliminations has finally ended the battle has ended, but the war is just about to start. Sangalan po ng ating mga kasama, Chantal Arboleda, Nikki Viola, Coach Bujingako, Benji Santiago here. Thank you for watching UCBL. Our time to shine. We'll see you at the ball games.